What's up guys? How's it going? I'm Average Patty, and welcome to the first episode in the new series we're calling The Cow Farm Chronicles. So this is pretty much me just wanting to uh, do a dairy farm. I haven't done this in this game yet, but you know, for me, backstory is everything. Um, I am a longtime employee of a agribusiness corporation, and the corporation has decided to restructure a little bit, and part of this restructuring is acquiring a cattle ranch. Uh, even though I have no farming ex experience, I've been chosen to take charge of this new investment. Um, pretty much the biggest problem is that after legal fees, initial operating expenses, and the acquisition of the ranch, we're really only left with about $500. Um, and the bigger catch is that I only have three years to make one million dollars to see if this, if this restructuring is actually kind of worth it. So with that, let's get into it. This is the Cow Farm Chronicles. Oh man, I'm ready to get out of this car. It's been a long car ride. Pretty sure I'm coming up to the place right now. Uh, they said it had a couple big red barns and a long white picket fence. This has got to be it. Uh, okay, well, let's see what we're getting ourselves into for the next three years. Hmm, okay, we got a nice looking house here. Kind of big for just me, but you know, hey. Oh, well. Oh, got a nice little backyard here. What is that? Oh, my goodness. Okay, well, I might get a dog or something. Kind of keep them contained by this, this brush here. Kind of cool. Okay, nice. Nice place, nice place. Oh, let's go check out the barn. So, uh, my bosses were saying this place is pretty well equipped, and I think they were telling the truth, because this is awesome. This kind of, I guess we we really don't need our, uh, our city boy mobile out there anymore. Four wheels. Oop. <laughs> this will get us around just fine, so we can put this honestly out in the street for sale. It might take a little bit. I don't, I haven't seen too much traffic go by. Uh, okay, so this will get us around the farm nice and easy. Cool. Okay. This will get everything we need around town, whether it be uh, cows, I don't know, cargo, whatever. We also have this nice flatbed here. Cool. Okay. We have a nice base to start. This must be, you know, why am I running around? Let's go grab the uh, little John Deere thing. Yeah. Grab this. Beep, beep, beep. Bag it up. Oh, okay, so we got a nice... This is actually a really nice sized field here. We could do... Uh... I was doing a little research on my way over here. On my drive and uh, about cow farming and stuff. And I'm pretty sure they need like straw and hay. And that kind of stuff. So we're going to grow mostly those... Those products. Because, um, yeah, I... Don't really know a whole lot about raising cattle, but we are going to take this on and take on this initiative because, you know, what better, who, what kind of opportunity pops up like this? So awesome. This is also something I wanted to point out. I guess the, the previous owner before he left had these solar panels installed. So these will actually be bringing in a little bit of money. Um, by the hour, I think, maybe. We might see that change here when it comes 1 o'clock. So that will help tremendously. But still, I really don't know where we're going to start. I think we need to start by getting some cattle. But if we get cattle, we're going to need to get them food. We're going to need money for food. Huh, okay. So I'm going to need to think about this a little bit. But uh, let's let's check out what else we got here. I was looking at the spec sheet, and yeah, we got this big old case harvester. This is cool. Never seen one of these in real life, but look at this thing is giant. Huge. Oh man, look at this header. It's like a mile long. Da -na -na, da -na -na. <laughs> and I guess the previous owner had a huge uh, infatuation for New Holland. Which is why these these pretty blue machines are sitting here, which I don't mind. I really like color blue. 
But there's also this little John Deere that is perfect for just kind of moving stuff around the farm. And I'm pretty sure this is a cedar. So, okay, yeah, it's a cedar. Perfect. But I'm still kind of confused on what I should do first. I have just about $500. I guess I should go put my Mustang up for sale on the driveway. Because that is initially some good money because you really don't need that anymore. It's going to be pretty useless driving that around on the farm. Maybe when I start making some money, um, we can buy us a nicer one. All right, we'll set that there. Hopefully somebody drives by and wants it. So, okay, I guess we'll just uh, wait and see if we get some cash from those solar panels to, to really do anything. Because um, I guess I should probably put some seed in the ground before I go and get cattle. Um, so that way they have like some food and some bedding. Um, and I'm not spending any money on that. So let's go ahead and wait to about 1 o'clock and see if those solar panels are actually worth anything. Okay, sweet, awesome. So after waiting a little bit, we got about, I don't know, $1,100 more to work with. So I'm going to run down to the store, co-op, I guess, and try out the new truck. Check this thing out. I actually look like a farmer now. You know, I gotta, I gotta look the part. Um, run down and get some seeds because I was doing a little bit, little bit more research on cows, and it looks like they need grass and hay to eat. So I'm thinking, since we have two large fields, right? We got two. I'm thinking maybe that back field is some kind of straw, so maybe either wheat or barley, and then this one can be like. A giant grass field, maybe. I really don't know how much we're going to need. Maybe I'd do it the other way around. Um, but I'm thinking that's where we're going to start. Since we have that cedar. So, uh... Alright, I got my GPS set. Let me run down to the store and grab some seed real quick. And then we will head back to the farm. Oh! Um, Okay. Well, look at that, guys. There's a there's an ocean right there in case you ever get lost. <laughs> there's an ocean right there. Okay, after only getting lost for a little bit, I finally made it over to the store. It's a cool place. A big area. Wow. I don't know what they got in there. But, uh, yeah, let me go see if they got some seeds for me. Okay, so we got one bag of seeds, or one pallet of seeds, I mean. Um, turns out these are quite expensive, so I'm going to run this over to the farm, get the uh, cedar started. What is this? What is this place? Wait, hold on. Let's Let's go check this place out. What the heck is this? Is this like a castle or something? Oh no, it's just the BGA. Oh, alright, well. <laughs> that's kind of anticlimactic. Are there any cle uh, collectibles? On this map? No? Nothing to reward my exploration? No? Okay. Well, let's get back over to the farm. Get the cedar started. Because... We're going to have cows, we're going to need some way to feed them. What's up with all these, like, wall driveways? This is cool. Is this another farm? Oh, hey, howdy. Oh, I, uh, yeah, I, uh, I just bought the farm down the street. I don't, sorry, I didn't mean to, like, intrude on your guys' just place. I just wanted to check it out. My bad. Yeah, I'll go this way. But, uh, yeah, my name's Patty. I bought the farm... Just down the road. I'm um, trying to turn it back into a dairy farm. Alright, looks like we're on the right track here. 
There's one of the neighbors right there as well. This place is kind of populated. I didn't have too many residents, but it's kind of populated. Where are you going? Ah, go this way. Hmm, nobody's... Nobody's called and made an offer on the old Mustang yet, so... Alright, so let's bring this out. Go ahead and drop it here. And you know what? Like, we probably don't need the biggest tractor for this, but why wouldn't we use it? This thing is really cool. Oh, jeez. Okay, but... I guess it's like maybe 2% less cool now. There we go. Do a little bit there. They're filled up. Okay, she's getting filled up nicely there. Okay, so 65%, uh, honestly, that should possibly be enough for this field. And what should we do? Should we do wheat or should we do barley? I'm pretty sure the, either, both of those. You can... Yeah, well, you can, both of those you can plant right now. So, which one harvests faster? Barley. Barley. Let's do barley. Oh. Alright, we got our seed type set to barley here. Let's get it lined up. Nicer than that. And, um, yeah, I'll just get this tuned up nicely and do a little time lapse for you guys. Go ahead and drop it down. Cool. Alright, I'm pretty sure we're seeding. Oh, this thing is wiggly. Oh, no, no, no. We got to turn it on. We got to turn it on. Come on, Patty. Bag it up, bag it up, bag it up. All right. Do a nice lap around the headland. I'm learning, I'm learning. Look at I See, now I know terminology. Oh, now we're seeding. Okay, cool, yeah. Do a nice little lap around the headland, and then we'll start doing rows. Alright, so there goes one lap around the headland. Now I'm just going to flip around right here. And I just start going up and down. And this thing is wiggly, and it is really hard for me to keep a straight line. I'm sure you guys noticed how many times I kind of left gaps on like the side. <laughs> yeah, this thing is going to get some, going to take some getting used to for sure. That's all good. We're moving. We probably should have more than enough to uh, get this field all seeded. We might have some left over to maybe get some grass on that field. I'm really not sure. I feel like I'm kind of being a little ambitious here. I know that this yield really isn't going to be the best because I'm not uh, really able to fertilize it just yet. That is going to be the focus, but uh, really going to have to be making 
baby steps till we get our first big paycheck for us to be able to do something. I think honestly selling the Mustang is gonna be very beneficial for us and help us do a lot more. Hope to get at least an 8,000 for it. I got it listed as 10 right now, but you never know. And uh, I get 10, great, but I think the lowest I'll take is 8,000. 8, Which, if we get $8,000, we will obviously be able to get a lot of seeds, a lot of fertilizer, and we'll probably be able to maybe get one or two cows and just kind of see how that is, feel it out, and be able to buy some hay and some straw for them. Huh, so I might have miscalculated a little bit, um, but that's okay. We are maybe just a little over halfway, maybe 60% done with the fuel. And so, luckily we had just another direct deposit from the um, solar panels just a little bit ago, so I am going to run back over to the co-op and hopefully by the time I get there, we might have another direct deposit, which is, I mean, I think they're around 1100 bucks each time. So, <clears throat> so, um, 1100 bucks an hour really isn't bad to help us out with how much it's going to cost to actually run this place. <laughs> Cause, uh, we, we have a lot set up already, but we really don't have a whole lot of stuff honestly um, because we're gonna need to get a whole lot more we're gonna need to get one fertilizer we're gonna need to get fertilizer spreaders we're gonna need cows we're gonna need to get uh, all kinds of stuff cultivators just stuff to make the the grass uh, the grass the ground more better to we're gonna have to get stuff to make the ground better to grow stuff in for sure Right now, we are just kind of working with what we got. And it's working, for sure. Thankfully, it's a... it's You know, we have time to plant something. We're still in season to plant that. Uh, barley, what is that? Okay, cool. I'm going to run down here and get some more seeds. Oh, I should have gone a little slower. We'll just... Uh, we'll, we'll hang out and talk to them. Until we get another direct deposit. We can buy some more seeds from them. <laughs> if we get another one, that should put us at about 2,800. Okay, so yeah, we'll be able to buy like two pallets of seeds and maybe, maybe some solid fertilizer as well. Yeah, let me take my time going on over the store here. Okay, so... Yeah, I think I'm just going to hang out here in the parking lot for a second before I go in just to make sure that I have enough money and I'm not coming back here again in like five minutes. Let me just act like I'm on the phone call. I got on a phone call or something right here. That way I'm not just weird staring at everybody. Okay, cool. Sweet. Looks like we just got another direct deposit sent straight into the bank account. So I'm going to run right in here real quick and get us some more seeds and hopefully some more, hopefully some fertilizer to uh, boost our yield there. Hmm. Okay, well, looks like we didn't have enough for the solid fertilizer, but that's okay. So let me get the truck right over here. Get this loaded up real quick and head back on down to the field. And let's at least get that um, barley field planted today and that grass field planted. And then maybe in the next one, we will uh, work on getting some cows. All right, we're all strapped down there. Let's head back over to the farm. Get back to work. Oh, these seeds are... Kind of heavy. Look at them swaying all over the place. Oh, man. <laughs> Woo. Hit 100. Let's go. Come on. Hit 100. You got a truck. You got a truck.
Ah! Come on, 80. You gotta get it up to 88 miles an hour. Oh, there's a car. Oh, no. Landed it. Ah, somebody's gotta buy that Mustang soon, man. I'm tired of looking at it. Reminds me just too much of my old life, you know? Moved on. That was so, like, three hours ago. I'm a, I'm a cow farmer now. Alright, you need to get with the times. Get out of here. Somebody, you are better served somebody else's life. Give me bad memories now. Alright, let's throw some seeds in this bad boy real quick. Get back to work. Alright, so it's probably going to take it all. Let's see. No, no, cool. We got some left over. You know, probably get the truck out of the way there. Kind of cool. Get that put away over in the shed or something later. Yeah, okay, let's go ahead and get this finished up and get up, move on to the next field. Oh, it's not turned on. Come on, Patty. <laughs> Alright, Lord is on. Cool. Alright. Now the time lapse can start. We're finishing up what is going to be the barley field quite nicely. Um, didn't really take too long. Um, oh, probably because... I'm back. There we go. I just don't like working in the dark. <laughs> um, I set my time back. Um, but I'm going to get this finished up, get the, get the cedar refilled and then switch over to grass and feed that field over there with entirely just grass. And from that, we will get some just plain grass, hay, and silage. So all the things that cows need. Um, and then hopefully, you know, these, these direct deposits keep coming in from the, the solar panels because those are really helping out a lot. Um, but yeah, I think I'm going to call it right here because I'm trying to keep a cap on how long my episodes are. I feel like they're really long and I don't know. I feel like they're just a little too much for some people. So I'm trying to keep a cap on it. But yeah, I'm going to go ahead and call it right here. Um, I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. I'm really excited to see where this series goes. I'm really excited to get it started. I really appreciate you, go you guys watching. Um, yeah, and I will see you in the next one. I'm just like spraying it everywhere. Is that not where it goes? Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. Stop unloading, stop unloading, stop unloading. Oh no. What's up guys? How's it going? I'm Average Patty and welcome back to Farming Simulator 22. 
today we're jumping back into the Cow Farm Chronicles series. Um, well, if you remember in the last one, we didn't really end up with any cows. Uh, we have no cows, we got a good farm, got a good ranch, but we did end with planting these two fields. So I got two giant fields planted. I feel like we got a good base kind of going for our farm here. We got a field of grass growing and we got a field of barley. I'm pretty sure it is way over there. So I went down to the local diner and I was kind of telling the people there my woes of being a rookie cow farmer and uh, one of the ladies was really nice. She was kind of making fun of me, but she was like, "Hey, you know what? If you need money, like I need one of my one of my fields mowed and uh, wrapped up into silage. So if you could do that for me, I'll shoot you a big chunk of change, and you could probably buy some cows." So I'm gonna run down over to uh, the dealership. I think we're gonna need the big rig on this one. I already called them. Got a, got everything uh, situated that I need. Are we attached to the cattle wagon? Yeah, we are. Okay, let's let the baby start up. Ugh! She's angry! So let's grab the flatbed. And then we are heading down to field number four. And I'm pretty sure it's a good sized field. It's about ten acres, but we'll we'll uh we'll fly right through it. And luckily we have some of our own tractors, so we can Am I attached? There we go. We can look at this. Oh my gosh, this is sick. Huh, I didn't really think uh how I was gonna get out though. This wasn't put in here the best way. I wonder who did this. I'm gonna go real wide with it. Okay. Back it up, back it up, back it up. Three axles really ain't helping. Oh, we're gonna scratch. That's all good. So I'm going to get down to the dealership, get all loaded with everything we need, and then head back down to field number four, and I will meet, meet up with you guys there. Okay, after our uh, long journey over the river and through the woods there, finally over at the dealership, going to pick up all the stuff we need for this, for this uh, mowing and baling job. Oh, listen to that thing. Whoa. Isn't there supposed to be a baler? Wait a second. Okay, here's the mower. Here's the wind rower thingy. Uh, hold on. Okay, we're for sure supposed to have a baler, too. That's not good. Let me get this loaded up and maybe, um, I don't know, maybe they'll just bring it out later. Maybe. Oh, but we're going to go off the edge on that side. Oh, my goodness. What the heck? Oh, no. What the heck just happened? Oh, darn. No, oh, okay. <laughs> oh, man. This seems to be my life recently. You know what? We're just going to go for it. We're just going to go for it. We got work to do and time is a ticking away. So luckily we've got a little bit of a uh, direct deposit from our solar panels there. Sweet. Oh, okay. Well, this thing looks like it wants a tip. Who would have thought? You know what I mean? Like, come on, this thing looks evenly distributed. Looks like it fits. Come on. All right, this isn't gonna work. I'll meet you guys at field number four. Oh, okay. What is this? What are these giant mountains? What the heck? Wait, hold on. What the heck is this? If there's one thing I know about crazy wild structures in Farming Simulator 22, is that, oh my god, that's scary. 
There is usually collectibles. Oh my gosh, this is a little treacherous. Huh. Yeah! See? Look at that! I was right! Nice! That's a thousand dollars, guys! Look at that! Sweet! Wait, is there another one over there? What is that? Or is that just a rock? I don't know. Sweet! Awesome! Little exploration kind of pays off every now and then. But yeah, I'm still driving over field, uh, field four. <laughs> Bear with me. It's gonna be a lot of back and forth. But I won't make you guys watch it. I'll cut it out. <laughs> but, uh, we are just gonna set this here. And come back to it. Because it's just us. We don't have any workers or anything. There's nobody that can uh, take over for us. So I'm going to head back over to the truck, I guess. Yeah, let's get this. Let's grab the wind rower while we're here, though. Let's grab something. Try to be efficient. Oh, also, I forgot to tell you guys. I had somebody say they had a little bit of interest in the Mustang um, while I was down at the diner. This guy asked me if, uh, he was like, hey, you bought the, the ranch, the new ranch, right? And I was like, yeah. He's like, hey, what's up with that, that Mustang sitting out the road? I was like, oh, you know, for sale. So he might be coming by a little bit later to check it out. And hopefully we strike up a deal with him because we need to get rid of that thing and really start... Um, making some money. So I'm gonna see if they can load this up, see if they can load this thing up for me real quick. Okay, cool. We got the wind rower. I'll load it up. Let's strap it down. Let's go drop this off at field number four. And then I thought we were supposed to get a baler. Hey, look at that. Wait, wait, wait. Check it out. Oh, look at us. Look at us. It's a pig. Oh, what the heck? Hey. There we go. Another thousand right there in the bank. Ooh, doggy, we're good. We're we're looking good. I don't know why I don't have a baler though. Hmm. I told him I needed a baler. Oh well, doesn't matter. We'll get a, we'll get one. Do you guys have any plastic little pigs or trailers or harvesters? Cause those things are worth a lot of money. Let's try going this way. Do a little bit more exploring. That has kind of seemed to pay off for us, hasn't it? Yeah, we can go this way. Kind of see what's around over here. Okay, so we're taking the... What are, what are we doing? Silage? What are we doing? Silage? Wrap it and make silage bales. Take the bales to the silage. Deal. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool, cool, cool. We can do that. And what is up here on the roof... Way to dag him. It's a plastic little pig. It's a plastic little pig that we are going to try to grab. Got to do some hardcore parkour. Ready? Ready? Yeah! Oh. A little too fast for my own good there. Yeah! Ha <laughs> ha! We got him. Nice! Guys, we're stacking it up. We are stacking up the coin now. Just collecting collectibles. That's kind of been my... uh. My thing recently, hasn't it? In my last video, um, we were exploring the new map, the Forgotten Isles. And in that one, the collectibles are worth $50,000. So, it was, it was quite the surprise to have that added into our account. Look at us, we're learning. The Jake break sounds great. Our barley is growing nicely. So again, we're doing all this hard work as kind of building a foundation for our farm because we don't have a whole lot of equipment. The company we work for bought this farm and we were tasked with bringing it back to life. However, there's no cattle. It is it is a cattle ranch, So, but there's no cattle. But there's a bunch of equipment that is ready to be used. Um, 
I don't know why they didn't give me a Baylor. Maybe they thought I had one. Kind of weird. But which which should we use? I mean, it's not gonna be like crazy mounds of power we're gonna need. I I really like this tractor. Let's throw this one up on there. Oh, let's get out of my butt there. Cool. Thanks. Appreciate it. Let's go ahead and get this one loaded up. And I guess we really only need two. Right? Okay, so if there's one mowing, and then we finished mowing. I guess, we're, honestly, we really only need one tractor, but I don't... I'm trying to, like, limit the amount of times I'm hooking up to everything. Well, when we bail, right? And we could just switch back and forth from that point. But I think we should probably... Can I help up there? Nice. Should probably go, um, I guess, rent a baler? Look, look at that. That is... Bro oh my gosh, imagine how much tongue weight this is. Look at the the truck is just squatting. <laughs> um, let's go rent a baler, I guess. Cause they didn't give us one. Taken out of our profits, but it's a big it's a big job, and we're gonna be making quite a bit of money on it. So I think we can afford to uh, rent a baler real quick. Foil color. Let's do blue. I like blue. Uh, how much are you to lease? Four thousand dollars? Ugh! Ah, dang, okay, we'll do it. Kinda... Kinda lame. We gotta pay for this, even though I told you guys we needed it. But, I'm gonna run over to the dealership, get that baler, and then we'll get started mowing. Kinda have fun with it. Whippin'! Oh, we whipped a little too hard! Oh, look at that, though. <laughs> I guess we whipped it just hard enough. I definitely want to be friends with these people, because they have a, such a cool entrance to their farm. <laughs> I want to check that place out. And they got a ton of trees. I bet these things are worth a bunch of money, so. Okay, dang it. Ah, oh, this sucks. Okay, a little bit of fairy dust, and we're back on the road. Act like that never happened. Oh, wait, wait. Oh, my gosh. I, I'm like Hawkeye's McGee right now, guys. I just saw another one. <laughs> look at Look, 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 look. Bam! There's so many. Wait. Hello? Hello. There we go. Nine more water trailers to be found. All right, we're gonna find them all. I'm gonna catch them all. You darn too. And if my truck didn't take ten years to start up, come on. Oh, all right. Oh my god, I thought it was dead. That's kind of funny. I'm pretty sure in the last one, I I totally thought there wasn't any collectibles. And now I found. Oh, jeez, I found like four. I don't know. Found a bunch, though. Yeah. Here's the baler I uh, was supposed to get. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it. But all good. We got it now. All right. We got work to do. Let's get on down to field number four. Stop horsing around, guys. Come on. All right, let's get to mowing.
Okay, so we're pretty much finished up with uh, the mowing here. So let's detach this from the two mowers and um, fold that up. Doop, doop, doop. Fold that one up. Okay, yeah, so we're going to detach. Detach. Detach, there we go. <laughs> we're going to hook this thing up to the baler, and then we already have the other tractor hooked up to the, the wind rower. So we're going to get that done real quick. And then be one step closer to hopefully getting cows. I was, I'm actually getting really excited because doing this doing this contract and hopefully selling the Mustang that I just hopped into um, is going to get us enough money to one, buy cows, okay, and then two, buy the stuff that cows need because they need, like, bit. I was like, why does this thing take so long to lower? Oh my gosh. Because they need bedding and they need food and they, I don't know if they need water. This is a weird wind rower. I don't know if I like this thing. But I'm going to go ahead and get this done, and then we'll switch over to bailing. And get these delivered over to the animal dealer. Okay, sweet. So we got... Oh, come on, car. You saw me coming. We got the bales all wrapped up. Got a bunch of silage made. Luckily, the owners of the property that live uh, right here, they had a front loader and were able to load all these bales onto my flatbed for me. So that was really nice of them. But this is only actually our first load. I think we got probably a whole nother load besides this. So there's a whole bunch of silage that we got to deliver. But thankfully, that's done because we got to get back over to the farm. Well, we got to return all of our equipment that we borrowed. Can I just drive into this? What if I take the... Yes! Cool! Sweet. Oh, wow. Wait, did that just say it's it's finished? Does that mean all of those bales are going to be for us? Oh, my gosh. This has turned into a great day. That's way more than I thought we were going to have. That's freaking awesome. So okay, let's go. Uh, let's go have them load these these extra bales up for us. That's one more load, it looks like probably. We'll get this turned in, get the equipment turned back in, and then we gotta get back to the farm because we need to meet that guy who wants to buy um, the Mustang. Cause that's a that's a whole another check for us. Dang, we're we're for sure gonna be getting some cows by the end of this, guys. This is really exciting. So uh, let me call them real quick, tell them I'm here, and get these loaded up. Okay, so we got all the silage, silage loaded, the leftover silage, but uh, hear me out. So, supposedly this is all ours, right? They were happy with their yield. Um, this is all ours to go sell, if we want, but we have, well, we don't have cows yet. Our goal is to get a bunch of cows, and this could be used as some good cow feed. You see where I'm going? You see where I'm going? So I'm thinking we take this over back to our farm, which is right, like, oh, dang, those leaves are in the way, right around the corner over there. I think we go drop this off, put this in the, the bale shed, and then I think we go turn everything in and get paid for our job. Because, I mean, we could sell this, and that would be some good money, but um, for the time being, we're going to be buying cow food anyway until our our yield or until our fields are ready to harvest we're gonna need to buy straw and uh, food for them so I'm, I think this is a really good deal you know we mowed her grass we turned it in she's given us a bunch of silage for our cows that we can we can use straight away as soon as we get the cows this is exciting this is exciting. I 
Okay, cool. We got those silage bales put away into their little shed. Um, let's run back and uh, turn everything in. And then I'll meet you guys back over here because we need to meet the guy who's buying the Mustang. Let me go park this up. Okay, cool. So, uh, got everything delivered back to the dealership. We just put our tractor back away and uh, let's go. Let's go ahead and get uh, paid for our job here. So it's gonna be twenty-one thousand dollars in the bank, and about twenty because we had to borrow equipment. But guys, that is a deal of a lifetime. That worked out way better than I thought it was going to, because not only did we get paid like a significant amount, but we got like cow food that we didn't have before, and we probably would have had to buy. So now we have money for cows. But um, I gotta race over to the front of the farm because the guy who's gonna buy the Mustang is here, and that's gonna be an. <laughs> I think he's, you know, I think he's gonna pay top dollar for it. He's not. He didn't really care about the price. Oh, let's move the truck out of his way so he can he can pull into the the driveway. And actually, we should probably hide the flatbed because I don't want him thinking I'm gonna deliver this thing. He's gotta take it. Okay, guys, just like that, our uh, City Boy Mobile, the old Mustang, is gone. We got $12,790 for it, which is honestly more than I was kind of asking, but I kind of... I might have made him think there was more interest in it than there really is. Um, but hey, now we're sitting at $41,000 uh, with the little help from collectibles and small little direct deposits that we have from um, the solar panels. So, I was thinking, you know what I mean? Obviously, we're going to get some cows, but we should probably get some hay. Or, yeah, some hay and some straw as well. So, I'm going to call up the guys over the co-op and see if they have any straw for sale. See if there's anybody selling some, because we need to go pick some up. And, huh, we probably, I don't know if this is going to be the best fit because we're probably going to need more than this actually fits on the flatbed so we're probably going to need to get back into the big rig just to be safe just to be safe let's park this under the, the cattle wagon just to kind of be funny imagine this connected no shot no shot no way Wait, can we take the flatbed with this then? Look at this looks ridiculous. <laughs> I might need a thumbnail. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> this looks ridiculous. I kinda wanna pull this out somewhere else. I really need to open this area up. It's kinda kinda not the best. But, okay, let me give these guys a call and see if we can buy some straw and some hay real quick. And then we are going to get some cows. Oh, my God, I'm excited. Okay, so for a total cost of about $16,000, almost $17,000, we got six bales of straw and six bales of hay. So this should hopefully be enough to kind of get us started, get the cows comfortable, so I'm going to go ahead and have them load this up for me, and then we are going to go drop this off at the farm, go pick up the cow wagon, and see if we could, you know, see if we have enough money for cows. Because <laughs> I got $25,000 burning a hole in my pocket, and I'm looking to spend it on something that's white and spotty, and occasionally moose. <laughs> okay, so we got... Bales, I'll put away nice and, oh my gosh, nice and neat. So we've got silage, we've got straw, and we've got hay. And, I mean, if I did my research correctly, I, I only watched a couple of YouTube videos, but I'm pretty sure that's what they need. So we are going to drop off the flatbed and pick up the cattle wagon. And go get some cows. Honestly, I'm thinking, though, before we go get them, we should probably set up 
you know, kind of kind of make it homey for them, you know, kind of set it up, put some straw down, put some food down so they're ready. Oh, okay. Well, we bumped into that thing. But yeah, so like when they get here, it's, you know, nice and comfy for them. Not some weird new land. Got to take care of your animals, folks. You know, they're part of the family. So actually, yeah, let's go ahead and grab the the pickup truck. Pick them up truck. And actually go grab some of the some of those bales out of the thing. And um kind of lay it down. Get it nice and ready for them. I wonder if we could just put the bales in here. Hmm. I wasn't looking. Oh my gosh. That thing is going to be... Oh my... That's going to be the end of me. That pit is going to be the end of me. Okay. So let's get these two straw bales. Up on the truck real quick. Open cover. <laughs> what the heck? I just realized that my truck has a toolbox. Look at this. This just popped out. <laughs> this is sick. Okay, well, alright, we gotta... Close that up. Okay, I got two bales of straw loaded up on the back of my truck here. We are going to go see if this is how we do it, because I don't really know how to do the straw. Is it going down? Hmm. Oh, wait. Yeah, I think there's straw. No, that's a shadow. Okay. What's going on here? Do we need cows first? Am I being dumb? Do we need cows first? Let's go get cows first. I guess. I don't know. Unless I'm doing it wrong. Trying my best here. Come on, truck. Start up, man. Sheesh. All right, let's get, the, get underneath the cattle wagon here. And then zoom on down to the animal dealer, which I think is just around the corner. Because that's where we, we were delivering the bales of silage. Let's go wide with her. Yep. Okay. Yep. Okay. That bush is gone. I have no idea how this is going to work. I've never, I've never bought cows or animals from the animal dealer and, like, transported them. So I hope this works. <laughs> oh, hey, I got a horn. But I'm pretty sure you just drive up there and tell them, hey, I want some cows, right? And then they're like, okay, we got some cows for you. I know we can have different kinds of cows, but I think I'm just going to get the normal black and white looking cows. The dairy the dairy cows. Oh, okay, that's where, like, the restaurant, that's the spinnery, that's the dairy and stuff. Okay, cool. Getting kind of situated. Okay, let's back our trailer up on to the gate, though. Let's get her prepped. Oh, watch out for their stop sign, Patty. Oh, I hit it anyway. No oh, well. Alright, back it up to the gate there. I'm pretty sure we just do this, right? Yep, okay, cool. Oh my gosh. They cost how much? That's a... Uh, 
What? Select, I guess. How many of these can I buy? I, I, should I buy the... Uh, I don't know. I think I should buy these ones. The most adult ones, right? Dang, I didn't think they were going to cost that much. Let's start with like maybe 10. Yeah, 10? Or how much does 15 cost? Oh, I can only get 12. I can only take 12 at a time. That's probably a good starting point for us. 12 cows, that kind of seems like a lot. But, I mean, we're cow farmers now, right? So we get a, there's $18,000 right out the door. Are they in my trailer? Oh yeah, they are! Look at I can see them! Look at You can see their little cow faces looking at me. Alright. Well, um, okay, I guess you guys are going home with me. I just spent all that money on you. Sweet! If the truck will start. There we go. <laughs> Didn't want to start for a little bit. We have cows! Guys, we have cows! We are officially cow farmers. And the cool thing is, we have food. We got their bedding for them. Oh man, this is going to be... This is great. This is... This turned out, you know, so much better than I thought it was going to do today. Like, I didn't think... I didn't think we were going to get half as much as we did for that contract. And on top of that, we got the, the silage for these guys. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. So how does the food work? Um, do they need all the food? Do they need all... Like, do they need hay and silage and grass and everything? And... Oh man, do I need one of those, like... Like, straw thrower thingies? I hope I don't. Those are kind of expensive. Oh yeah, listen to the Jake Brake sing as we bring these cows into their new home. Welcome home, cows. So, what do I do now? Oh, don't fall off the cliff, though, with them, Patty. Oh, my gosh. We do need to get kind of close to it, though. I don't know. Okay, so. Do I just do this? What do I do? Um... How do I deliver them? Oh, well, it doesn't help that my truck is stuck right here. Okay. I need you guys to get out of my trailer, please. That'd be great. Appreciate it. Okay, now I'm just... I'm all over the place here. We need to get our trailer going that way. Yeah. So we can get it into the fence. I think, right? Like, I don't... Not entirely sure. Maybe I need to drop them off in there, which would be impossible. I don't really know. Move to husbandry. All right, look at us. Cool. We figured it out. We got cows. Guys, we got cows. Look at it. Look at he's got a little toupee on. <laughs> oh my goodness. This is so exciting. They're hanging out. They're chilling. Heck yeah, cows. Welcome to your new home. Let's get this truck out of your guys' way. 
I'm sure it's got some bad memories attached to it. And um, let's close the gate, and then we will see if we can get you guys fed. Oh my god, this is awesome. Okay, let's just put that right there for right now. Ah, we have cows. Let's close this so nobody escapes. There we go. Okay. Mm. Okay, so hopefully this straw works now. I don't think it's going to... Oh, man. Okay, so... I think I need... Dang it. Okay. Well, we have about $8,000. Let's, um... Let's try to give them some food first, I guess. Okay, so let's look at the cows here. So... Total capacity effectiveness. So they need total mixed ration. Ration. They need hay and they need grass. So did we buy hay? I think we bought hay. Yeah. Let's go get them some hay. Um. And then I think we need. I think we need another piece of equipment. <laughs> Dang it. That's all good. Get this parked up real quick. Okay, so cows don't actually eat silage, right? I guess they just, it's part of the, silage is part of their uh, total mixed ration that they eat. Okay. All right, we're learning. We're, <laughs> we're learning. So let's get them some, some hay. Let's get them some hay. Oh, where is it at? Right there behind me. Okay, cool. Get this loaded up real quick, and uh, let's at least get them some food. Okay, looks like it's going in, I think. No, am I just being dumb? Hmm, okay. Oh, okay, cool. Look, all right, they got some hay. <laughs> Sweet, they got some hay. Okay, so, um... Figured that out, but I know I got, I got super strength. Kind of wild. You guys are not taking the straw, okay? <sighs> so that tells me I am gonna need uh, some kind of equipment for it. So let's go ahead and see what that would be. Is there like an animals kind of thing? Pig food, chicken food, none of that. Okay. Mm. Animal transport? I don't know why it'd be in transport. Animals? What is this thing? Oh, gosh. I didn't read it. A forage mixer. Blah, 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 blah. Blah, blah, blah. Is it, I, think it's, I think it's this thing we need, right? Yeah. It's this thing. This thing, this machine takes straw bales and uses them to cover the ground. Okay. How much does this thing cost to rent? Oh, not bad. Not bad. Just 1800 bucks. Okay, let's run down and go pick this up real quick, and then I'm be right back. Because we are... We get, we're getting these cows taken care of. That's the last thing we do. Well, it, it is going to be the last thing we do, actually. <laughs> so I'll be right back. Okay, sweet. So one little trip down to the dealership later. Oh, we still got the, the hay right there. We should probably give it to the cows. They could use it. Um, and we have this thing. This uh, apparently throws straw on the ground for the cows, which is what we need to do to make them happy because we don't want them sleeping straight up on the ground. It's cold and wet and dirty. So I'm going to get this loaded up with some straw really quick. And I found a good use for our, our little John Deere, finally. Um, I don't, can I open the doors? Hmm. Oh, look at 
Look at that. Okay, cool. Look at us. Look at us. We're learning. Okay, so let's get this this loaded up real quick with some straw. Oh, I really gotta get a forklift or something, or I don't know. I can't keep breaking my back lifting these oh, these bales of straw. I know I'm like freakishly strong. Incredible, right? Right, let's go ahead and throw this one in there too. Pretty sure it takes two. Go ahead and put that in there. Okay, cool. Alright. I know my back's gonna hurt tomorrow. Let's go ahead and um Which one was it? That one. Okay, I had it right, I had it right, I had it right. Oh my god, the she screen is shaking like crazy. Let's go ahead and back this up. Cows, guess what, guys? I got some straw for you. I don't know how to... Ah, just like that. Okay. Oh, sorry. I'm, like, spraying you all over there. Check it out, guys. You get some... You got some bedding. You got some food. Sweet. I hope you guys like it here. Because, oh, my God. I'm just, like, spraying it everywhere. Is that not where it goes? Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. Stop unloading, stop unloading, stop unloading. Oh no. What am I supposed to do? Oh man, where does the straw go? Uh oh, okay, so we need to figure this out. Oh, okay, I guess we do it right here. Why do we do it right here? Well, we figured it out, I guess. <laughs> um, cool. Yeah, let's just give you guys all the straw. If it's gonna take it, let's, let's do it, yeah. I'm sorry I kinda gave you guys a giant pile of... straw that's in the way of everything right there, but, you know, we're, we're learning. And, uh, we're figuring this out, cause I'm, I'm gonna give you guys the best possible... Best possible place to live. I'll tell you what. Gosh, I really hope I'm doing this right this time. Okay, so... Alright, so... Oh, we are... Oh my goodness, guys. We have three liters of milk already. Oh my gosh, I'm excited. Sweet! Okay, so... We got cows, they got food, they got straw. I think this is a good place to end it right here, guys. Oh my gosh. Look at us, we're cow farmers. This is so exciting. Moo. <laughs> Sweet, okay, well, this has been one heck of a day. I really appreciate you guys watching, hanging out. Um, this has been a really fun episode to make. Um, definitely learning a lot as we go along here. Don't worry, don't you worry, Cal. I'm gonna, we're gonna be best friends, okay? Don't you worry. But yeah, thanks for watching, guys. In the next one, we are, uh, I guess we gotta make some more money. Gotta figure out how to milk these guys, how to get rid of their manure, all that good stuff, as well as deal with the fields, um, that we've planted. So, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. I'm not really sure which series I'm gonna put out next. I have a lot of series going on right now, I know. But this game is just a lot of fun for me to play. So I hope you guys enjoy watching me play this. And if you guys have any suggestions on things that you want me to do, totally leave it down in the comments. I'm always open to stuff. But uh, yeah, um, I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks again. Thank you so much for watching. What's up, guys? How's it going? Hope everybody's having a great day, and welcome back to the Cow Farm Chronicles in Farming Simulator 22. So, I'm getting a little bit of mowing done here, as you guys can see, and that's because I'm making a big push to just make a bunch of hay. 
while we have all all of this grass. So I kind of I was thinking um, we have all of this free grass just kind of laying around, and our cows need food. And hay is the most effective food that we have for them right now until we can make uh, the TMR. And the TMR is going to be like a whole nother process. We're going to need a piece of machinery. We're going to need to learn how to mix it, which sounds kind of difficult. So in the meantime, I'm figuring we could just make some hay while the sun shines. You know, I mean, it's an old saying, but it seems to ring pretty true. So I've got the medium size New Holland hooked up to this uh, dual mower setup kind of thing which is really cool and actually I'm gonna go swing around this way too because this is a big, big old piece of grass we can get and I picked up a bunch of equipment from the, uh, the dealership and the co-op because I ended up selling all of those uh, silage bales that we got from our last little job which I thought were gonna be good to save for the cows but um, we ended up getting like 40 so, like 40 something thousand dollars for all of those bales which I used I actually didn't use a whole lot of it because all of this equipment's rented so I didn't really buy any of this but so I gotta turn it back in which kinda sucks but it's okay we have all of this free cow food so I'm gonna get a lot of mowing done pretty much in this one and um, then we'll just be stocked up on hay for a good for a good while and then after that we just gotta wait for this barley to be ready to harvest and we'll have all of our straw oh hey wait oh there's, there's a lot of weeds in this Thing. Okay, well that's a that's whatever. We really don't have anything to uh, combat that with right now, so we just kind of got to deal with it. Okay, so we're just about getting done mowing all the grass around the property. Uh, took quite a, quite a bit, but that's okay. And um, just to show you guys kind of what we all what we did, um, let's get into the construction mode here. Let's just uh, go around the farm, show you guys all the grass that we cut. So we cut all of this over here all of this pretty much everything that we had access to I chopped down got all of this down here all of this over here of course this field that we had planted 
We got all of this stuff down here. Went around the corner this way. I could have gone over here and gotten all this stuff, but man, it's already it's already taken me about an hour to get all of this mode <laughs> by myself. Um, so now the next step is to turn this into hay using the tether right there. And uh, then after that, we're going to be bailing it up. So let me go ahead and, and uh, oh, geez, finish up here. Oh, looks like we're finished. Okay, cool. So turn this off, switch over, turn that off. Oh, wait. There we go. Uh, nope. Uh, there we go. Okay. <laughs> Jeez, it took me a little bit of it. But, um, when I attach to the tether, I'll, um, go around the perimeter of everything in a nice little time lapse and just kind of show you guys really how much we're going to have. We're going to have a ton of hay. So, we're going to save some for the cows, and I'm going to end up selling probably a good amount of it. Just because we need money for all kinds of things that the, the cows need. Like I mentioned earlier, they're going to need a TMR mixer. We're going to need some tanks to grab the milk. We're going to need some tanks to grab the slurry. We're going to need a trailer for the manure. We're going to need all kinds of stuff. So, let's get to it. There we go. Oh man, I feel like this is going to take a long time. But it's okay. Look at that. Nice. Okay, let's lower it down. And make some hay.
Okay, so there is one full lap around the headland, like the perimeter kind of area of all of the grass that I cut. And just that by itself seems that it took almost 20 minutes, maybe 25 minutes. I don't know. It took a long time. You guys can look up in the top right and kind of see how long it took me. I have it set in real time just to show you how long this is taking me. This is a huge field. But um, I'm going to go ahead and get the rest of this done, and then I will see you guys when we connect up to the baler because I really want to show you that wind rower. It's actually really cool. Okay, so we just finished up all of the tedding. Uh, it took us almost an hour just to do that by itself um, with the whole property. But this is a really big push to get us a bunch of hay, which, I mean, if we can get a bunch of hay, that could last us maybe a whole year or two years, and then we could sell the rest. I think we'll be in a pretty good position uh, money-wise and supply-wise. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, fold this up. I'm going to set this over here. So we can pack this up later because these are all rented equipment. And then I'm going to go over and grab the uh, wind rower, which is attached to the baler. Show you guys this really cool setup. Let's unfold it here. Check it out. And I think they were telling me that you can buy or, you know, rent or whatever, extended versions of this wind rower. So the arms will stick out even further and grab more uh, material, whatever you need. So let's go ahead and turn this one on and lower it. Okay. And then we lower the baler. Turn that on. Is it lowered? There we go. Now it's lowered. Okay. And um, let's go ahead and change the bale size. Nope, that's not how I do it. Uh... There we go. Okay. And this should just start making some hay bales. Look at that. Okay, so it's, you see how it packs it all into a nice little windrow right behind the first trailer there? This thing is awesome. So I'm just going to go around the perimeter, and I'll get you guys a nice little time lapse of baling some hay real quick.
just like that, one lap around the headland is complete. And so it looks like that took us about 20 minutes just by itself, which, I mean, this whole, doing this is probably going to take us another hour, which is fine. It's no big deal. But I will gonna, I'm going to go ahead and get this done, and then I will have um, the final count of how many bales we produce at the very end.
What's up guys? How's it going? Hope everybody is having a great day and welcome back to the Cal Farm Chronicles here in Farming Simulator 22. Today, as you can see, it's March, so it's planting season. And my plan for this giant grass field over here is to pretty much extend it a little bit, maybe make a few more rows on about three three sides of it. I don't know if I want to go closer to the shed right here. And we're going to turn this into a giant cornfield, which is going to give us a bunch of corn silage um, that we're going to be able to turn into cow food. So pretty much our goal with this episode is to get this field all prepped and ready, this field over here behind those trees. Um, get it ready for the corn because we can't plant corn until April, which is next month, unfortunately. And we also want to fertilize it, hopefully, all the way, but I want to use the organic material that the cows provide. So I want to use the slurry and I want to use the manure over there. So we're going to need some special trailers to do that with. Um, I don't know if the barley is too far uh, matured to spray over it, but if we have enough money, that is hopefully going to get taken care of as well because, oh my gosh, these these weeds are giant. I'm just going to do a little, little test there. And, it, yeah, it looks like we're destroying it. So looks like they might be a little too old to spray any kind of herbicide on there, which is whatever. We're just going to have to deal with these weeds for our first harvest. It's no big deal. But we got 40 cows so far in our in our pen here, and it can hold 80. So hopefully our goal today is to uh, get a tanker for the milk and sell some milk because that's got a pretty high price on it. And then by the end of this, maybe add a few more cows to our pen because... I want to add maybe two or three more cow pens if we're going to be a multi-million dollar business. We can't just be relying on 80 cows. We're going to need a whole lot more than that. So hopefully we can sell some milk and get some good money off of that just to buy more cows. And I know I still need to get all of this straw out of here. I need to find a shovel or a small skid steers. I don't know, something to get all of this out of here. But I'm going to go ahead and hop in one of the tractors and unload the plow and the cultivator that I just rented and get to work. This New Holland has been kicking butt recently and just doing all kinds of stuff. That, that one's just a little too big. We'll probably attach that to the cultivator just to make it go a little faster because uh, I'm not going to plow the entire field. I don't really think it needs that. We're just going to cultivate straight into the grass, which is going to give us a good amount of fertilization, I'm thinking. I'm pretty sure. I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure that's how this game works. So let's go ahead and get the cultivator off first. And we're going to do a couple of laps with the plow and extend our field here. Oh, whoops. Didn't mean to hit that. Oh, let's see if it's going to hook up. Nice! I'm going to open my handy dandy controls here. We're going to switch it over because I'm on controller. Do allow create fields. Lower plow. There we go. We're extending our field. So, okay, I'm going to go ahead and get this done. I might do one or two rows on each of the three sides just to give us that much more when we come to harvest. Uh, we're not going to be selling anything on to the market. Uh, this is primarily just going to be cow food, but more is always better.
Okay, sweet. So we got this field pretty much extended out as far as I'm going to go. Eventually, I'm going to have to get rid of these trees, and I'm going to go a little bit farther on that side right there. Maybe add two or three more rows with this plow. But what do you guys think about this plow? This thing is sweet, huh? Let me go pretty fast. I was going about 12 miles an hour, and I like that it's just a straight edge. It's not like the angle ones that they have all over in the game. I don't like those at all. But um, I went kind of far on this side, so... Um, I don't like that at all, so instead I'm just going to do something I feel like I'm not going to like even more, and just mm, do that. I had all these nice straight edges, and I'm just going to ruin it. Why not? Put it right about there. Bam. <laughs> Go ahead and drop this back down. Get all this. Bam. Alright, get that part right here. Okay. So now I'm just going to hook up to the cultivator, and I'm going to hook up to the bigger New Holland just to use it. I don't think that thing's got enough use. And it's actually really cool. I like it a lot. It moves really fast. I'm just gonna do that. Yep, I'm gonna do that. Okay. Look at this thing. It's a beast. I, you know what I can't wait to use is that harvester right there. That case IH. Man, that thing with that header looks huge. I can't believe the previous farmer who lived here left that thing. I would have sold that as well, but hey, you know what? I'll take it. All right, so let's go ahead and hook up to the, ca the cultivator here. And, uh, oh, dang, that is a little funky. If my calculations are correct, um, this grass should count as one fertilization layer because typically they want you to do two, um, which is fine. Uh, so we can do this, and then we can go ahead and go rent, like, a slurry tanker and sp spray some slurry all over the ground. It's not going to smell too nice. But we'll have a fully fertilized field before we plant in it in April. I'm going to go ahead and lower this and kind of just see what happens. Nice. Okay, cool. So, yeah, it's like... But let's see what the fertilizer rate is. 50%. So this is still... Mm. Oh, see, okay. But it dropped down to like 29% on the plot. Let's go see what's over here. Yeah, okay. So this is all going to be 0%. Which is fine, so we're going to have like a couple stripes of non-fertilized, which we can maybe hit with a manure trailer, a manure, manure spreader, if we have the money and the time, but we'll see what's what's going on here. Okay, so we can go about 9 miles an hour. This is probably going to take me a little bit longer than um, the plowing did, so I'm just going to go ahead and just kind of do a little jump cut to the end here. Right, <laughs> as a uh, dagger one would say, um, got this field fully cultivated. And just to show you guys really quick, we are over here on field 14, and we have one layer of fertilization where the grass was, and none where we freshly plowed. So, next, we are going to grab a couple of tankers after we return this equipment. One of the tankers is going to be for slurry, so we can fertilize this field organically and free pretty much we do not we're not gonna have to go buy fertilizer we got a bunch sitting there and the second is going to be for milk so that we can sell all the almost 10 oh geez what am i doing we can sell the almost 10,000 liters of milk that we have sitting there waiting just you know burning a hole in in our pocket pretty much so i'm going to go ahead and get this loaded up with the smaller new holland I'm just going to go park, go ahead and park this right here in our large driveway. Hopefully this all fits, but, you know, we've been known to take loads and cargo that just might be a little too big.
Okay, there we go. Looks like we're nicely loaded. We're just a little crooked, but looks like we're nicely loaded here. Make sure those lines are lined up. Cool. Now we don't really need to attach to the plow. Maybe we should just to kind of give ourselves some more room here. Yeah, that looks like a totally legal nobody would stop me or pull me over load. <laughs> Go ahead and get this up. Let's get it strapped down. I'll meet you guys over at the dealership co-op thing to get us our new tankers. So, okay, we're pulling up to the dealership here. I'm going to go ahead and get this stuff returned and then see what they got for me in the category of little tankers to put liquid in. Okay, sweet. So we got two new tankers. This one I'm hooking up to first is going to be our slurry sprayer. Um, these are actually kind of bigger than I thought they were going to be, so I don't know if these are both going to fit. Hmm. Let's kind of just see what the length is on this. Ooh, yeah, I don't know about that one. Even if I went backwards, I don't know about that. Oh, wait. Hey, hey now, hey now. Ah! This might work. If I could just have them load that trailer for me now, uh, because I can't detach, this is going to work okay. Okay, so I got both of them on there, but the only thing is we can't close the ramp. So hopefully we are not going to go over any kind of crazy elevation or anything like that, because we're going to scrape. But I'm going to go ahead and get these back over to the farm and start using them. Man, this is exciting. We're going to have a bunch of free fertilizer, and we got a bunch of just milk that's worth a ton of money sitting there waiting for us to go sell it. Okay, so we made it all the way back to the farm in one piece, and uh, let me tell you what, those guys really don't care about my safety at all down at the at the dealership. They're just like, okay, yeah, fits and ships, let's go. <laughs> but I'm going to go ahead and get this filled up with milk really quick, because can do that with the pickup truck. Nice, okay. This thing really likes to make sharp turns, and I'm pretty sure we go ahead and, yep, I think we're going to fill up right here. Nope, well, not like that. Okay, of course. Um, start filling? Okay, wow, look at that. Nice! 8,000 liters of milk filled up right there and I say we go sell it right now. I think that's going to be a good chunk of money to be able to put in our bank account. So, okay, we got 12,000 liters left over still. Of course, the price just likes to play. It's going to be better next month game, which is fine. We're just going to go ahead and sell it. 2,000 liter or 2,000 dollars per 1,000 liters is actually pretty good. So we should be making, I don't know, maybe uh Maybe sixteen thousand dollars or something like that. But oh wait, who's who's buying it? Who's buying it? Who's got the best price? Johnson's Farmers Market has got the best price by almost almost a hundred dollars. So we're gonna go over to those guys. Actually, let's go ahead and tag that place real quick. I'm pretty sure that is over where we make the turn to go to the dealership. So let's go get some some money from this milk. Oh man. We've been working really hard to actually make our own money from our cows. Super exciting. And yeah, it's right over there. Cool. And we actually haven't gotten to use our truck very much, which is pretty cool. So now we get to use this a little bit more, transport stuff. sucks that we wasted uh, like few like three or four months just trying to get a better price on hay but you know we live and we learn we don't really have that much time to waste because again we only have three years to make three million and we only have 50,000 right now 
So hopefully by next August, I think we started, we have at least a million dollars. And this is going to be a great start to it right here. Let's see what we get. $17,709. Wow, that's more than I was expecting, but actually pretty close to my estimate. I'm getting pretty good at this stuff. I know my you know my measurements and my increments and stuff. Um, so I'm actually going to go pick up that 1,200 liters that we have just kind of sitting there. Sell that as well. And then we need to get to spraying some slurry. Oh man, that's going to smell great, I bet. Oh, that's scary every time. Oh my gosh. Alright, so we're pulling in here for our second load of milk. It's only about 1,200 liters. But hopefully we make maybe four, four grand from this? We'll see. Ooh, only about 2,600. That was way off. But that's okay. We ha now have $72,000 in the bank to go spend on a bunch more cows. Because, like I said in the beginning of this... We only have 40, and our pen holds 80, so we need to start stacking them cows up. And the more cows we have, the more milk we're going to make, the more slurry we're going to make, but also the more food that they're going to consume. But if you guys are keeping up, and you saw in the last episode, we did a huge hay harvest, ended up with 112 hay bales, and I ended up selling half of those, so we still have... I think 56 still sitting over in that far that far red barn that's over there which is primarily just going to be used for cow food until we can get um, to the point where we're making our own TMR which is the best food for cows so I'm just gonna go ahead and park this right, right here okay and then I'm gonna go ahead and go get back in the medium-sized New Holland and fill up on some slurry. God, that word is gross. Why am I parking in the grass? We have all this area to park in here. I'm not going to park in the grass. Oh, gee, I just smacked that tractor. Sorry. Cool. Park that up. Look at this all parked up on the step deck. <laughs> it's an efficient use of room, if you ask me. Oops. So let's see if this this holds 8,000 liters, I'm pretty sure. And we have like 15,000 sitting here waiting for us to use. So we've got a couple, couple tankers full of this. But I want to see how much it's actually going to take to cover the entire field. Oh, nice. We can actually hold 8,200 liters. A little bit more than I was thinking. But this really shouldn't take that long, so I'm thinking I'm just going to go ahead and cut this into a nice time lapse for you guys and show you the process of fertilization on a field. On a, on a field. Uh, turn this on. Oh, that's... That's pretty gross. Oh my god. Okay, that's really gross, actually. <laughs> <laughs> that looks disgusting um but yeah i'm just gonna go ahead and get this all fertilized <laughs> Ugh. just the way it comes out is just... <laughs> oh my god <laughs> Oh wow, but we're we're really going through this stuff. I haven't even gotten through a whole Oh, we're going to need a lot more slurry. We're going to need a lot more slurry. I did not know this was going to go this fast. Huh. Let's see if that reaches over there. Okay.
Wow. Okay. So what I thought was going to be a nice time lapse is actually just going to be probably like three passes? Three or four passes? Oh yeah, look at that. I'm already out. Wow. Okay. Well, now we know. Let's go ahead and get some more slurry, I guess. Didn't even get us a whole nother tank full. Wow. Ooh, we really need to get we really need to go get some more cows. So maybe the best thing to do is kind of just use it on the the area I've plowed and give that one level of the fertilization stage. So we'll go up around this way. And then that really just kind of shows you how how bad we need more cows. Not only for the milk, but to just not have to spend money on fertilizer or stuff like that. Okay, so let's maybe get two more passes. I think this is just going to be one more pass. Which, I don't want to make it only halfway that way. So I'm just going to do one pass this way. And then... I guess we'll just kind of end it out on like how we did on the last episode by buying some more cows. I know this has a greater spread than I'm using, but I just I don't want to miss something because we're already just not going to get a whole lot of the, the field. God, this is so gross. Look at that. look at the way it comes out. <laughs> Is it just going to be enough? Oh, we... Oh, darn. We are just ran out to get a full third pass? I think that was only a third pass. Huh. Okay. Well, there goes that idea of <laughs> self-sustaining and, you know, using our own organic material to fertilize our fields. We're still going to do it, but I'm just kind of realizing how much more we're going to need and how many more cows we're going to need just to even do that field. But if you guys want to look on the map and see that strip was all grass, so now that is fully fertilized, which means if we just kind of spray all this, this is going to be fully fertilized and give us a nice yield as well. Unfortunately, we know that this field is uh, barley and it's full of weeds, so we're just going to have to kind of take an L on that one, which is fine. This is our first season our, our first growing season so it's it's full of learning pains and trial and error and all kinds of stuff but i'm gonna go ahead and get our big rig hooked up to the cow wagon and go give the animal dealer a whole bunch more money Alright, so we're pulling into the animal dealer, just going to do a nice blind side back in here, right up to the gate, and we're just going to start stacking up some cows, I guess, until we run out of money. Um, well, actually, we can't really do that, because we still need to uh, plant all of the corn that we're going to be doing, so we're going to need to borrow a planter, and that's going to cost a lot of money, so we can't really spend all of our money, but we're going to spend a a pretty good amount of it. Okay, there's pretty much all the money that we made from selling our milk. So now that we know we can trade one tank of milk pretty much for one load of cows.
which isn't a bad trade. I mean, when when you think about it, if you keep adding cows, you're just going to keep getting more milk. So it's kind of like an infinite loop. Like I, I like this. Let's go ahead and go add these guys to their new home. Um, I'm thinking we'll probably add 30. We'll see how much that costs. Bringing our grand total to 70. But that's kind of what I'm thinking right now. I really don't like how close this is to this giant pond. It's like a pit, man. I feel like the previous owner dumped some bodies or something in there. It's, why does he need that? Oh, jeez. See, yeah, like that's just too sketchy. I'm going to need to find some way to get rid of that or move this thing. I don't know. That's just I, I feel like I'm going to fall on it one day. I don't like it. Okay, there we go. Alright, so let's go ahead and select these guys. Move to husbandry. Okay, let's go ahead and do that one more time. Just like that, another $18,000 out the door and another 12 cows loaded into our trailer. So after this, we're just going to buy, I think, four more, which we will definitely have enough money for. Which means we are for sure going to have 70 cows by the end of this episode, which is a big deal for us. For starting out with zero and only $500, and now we have 70 cows and 56 hay bales to feed them with. Uh, paying no attention to those tracks. I totally didn't drive over that to get over here. Um, that's a big deal. I think we're going we're gonna to be making money hand over fist here in no time. Okay, there's 64 cows. Now we only need six more. I don't know what I was thinking by saying four. I can't do math right now. I'm staying up really late editing and stuff. <laughs> I'm just going to go ahead, go ahead and blame that. Uh, but we do need six more. Oh my gosh, that was a sketchy turn. So six more should probably put us near about $25,000 or so left in the bank which is plenty enough to get our planting season on for our corn that we're going to be growing. And hopefully, you know, by the time this barley is done, I think this is going to be ready to harvest in June, we're going to have made enough money to have all the supplies that we're going to need for that harvest as well. Go ahead and just grab six of you guys. Bam, okay, that's an oh wow, yeah. Nine thousand dollars for six cows. And look at that, I was pretty close. We still have about twenty six thousand dollars to get us all prepared for our first corn planting season. Okay, sweet. So as we get these this last load of cows that we just bought emptied out into their pen to join all their their cool f little cow friends uh, I really want to thank you all for watching uh, today was a really it was a huge day for us you know making steps with our cow farm um, we had a little bit of a learning curve with our slurry and we are almost able to double the amount of cows that we have from selling our first tanker full of milk Stuff's starting to happen, guys, and it's really exciting. So, I, again, I really appreciate y'all watching, and uh, I'll, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Have a great rest of your day. What's up, guys? How's it going? Hope everybody's having a great day, and welcome back to another episode here in the Cow Farm Chronicles in Farming Simulator 22. So, if you saw in the last episode, I wanted to fully fertilize this field that we're prepping for corn, with our organic material that we're going to have from the cows, which is mainly our slurry. 
but I kind of ran into the problem of uh, not having enough, enough slurry. So we went and got more cows. But um, to get more slurry, we have to kind of wait. So to continue from the last episode, we are going to finish prepping this field for the corn that is going to be planted in here. So it needs to be fertilized. And we, <laughs> we only got to about here <laughs> with the slurry, which uh, I think we had about 18,000 liters, which I thought was going to be way more. But um, after extending the field a little bit, it didn't really cover that very... It didn't really cover a whole lot of space. So we need to go rent a sprayer and get some liquid fertilizer and finish fertilizing it. And then as you can see down in the bottom right, it also needs some lime. And we're going to need to roll the seed bed after planting to get the full yield of 100% just to make sure that we are getting as much cow food as we can. So I'm going to finish feeding the cows and then I'm going to run down to the dealership and get a sprayer, throw it on the back of the medium sized New Holland and probably throw that into a nice little time lapse for you guys. I feel like that would probably go pretty fast, so after that we are going to Yeah, after that we're going to spray it with or not well, not really spray it, but spread lime over it. And then from there we can get to planting. Ooh, don't knock that back into the loading area. Cool. Okay, we're all the way back at the farm now. We have our liquid fertilizer sprayer. And I went ahead and... Oh, jeez, it did it not connect. What's going on here? Hey. Oh, I always do this. I'm on the wrong side. <laughs> I always think the tank goes on the back. But, um, anyway. I went ahead and got us a lime spreader as well. So that we can just go ahead and get that done right after we finish this spraying. So I'm going to go ahead and just unfold this, kind of get to work. It probably won't take me longer than a few minutes, but still I'll go ahead and wrap it up. Put some nice music to it for you guys. Let's go ahead and get this little spot right here. Little tip's going to fold out. Yep, cool. Oh! Oh! <laughs> Dang it, I ran out of um, liquid fertilizer while I was checking the map there. <laughs> okay, well good thing I got it. I got more than I, you know, than I thought I was going to need. 
Let me fold this up so I can reload it real quick. And uh, actually, this is a good time to bring up the point I was thinking about. Uh, I I was hoping to kind of offset the cost of renting all of this stuff by picking up a few fertilizing contracts, but there aren't any contracts currently. So I think maybe next month there might be a few more, and maybe we can make some money back on this equipment we've rented, because I don't think I'm going to use all of that lime either. However, uh, I'm I've used more liquid fertilizer than I thought I was going to use, so maybe I should just kind of wait and see how much everything I have left before I count on making any money from the extra. But really quickly, going back to the map, uh, you guys can see that we are at a full fertilization here where the grass used to be after spraying it. However, where we've plowed still needs a second layer. And I'm thinking I'm going to get a planter that holds uh, solid fertilizer, which, I mean, will kind of be overkill on uh, the parts, the main part that grass used to be on. But it will take care of the outside layer and, like, the perimeter that needed the extra fertilizer. So we will have a fully fertilized field and then after that we only have to worry about uh, rolling it after seeding it and then worrying about uh, weeds and stuff growing but that's probably a few months out. Oh! Actually really quickly I also realized that I still have that uh, was like a giant John Deere side-by-side -side thing so I think I'm going to trade that in as well as my cedar that I have for some cash and a planter so we can plant some corn. Because I totally forgot that we had that thing sitting around in the garage. And when I went and parked my truck, I saw it sitting there and I, uh, I don't even think I've driven that thing since we've started the series. So I'm just going to go ahead and sell that and get some money for it because getting the liquid fertilizer and getting the lime... Uh, really cost a lot of money. Renting the equipment didn't cost a whole lot. I think together I maybe spent like 3000 bucks on both of the, the trailer and the sprayer that I have. But it was like $3,200 for each IBC container of liquid fertilizer that I bought. So those things are quite expensive. Which kind of proves why I didn't want to go and buy fertilizer and I wanted to use the organic material that we have from the cows. However, uh, we should be getting some more here coming up in the next month, but it's not going to be needed. So n after we harvest the, I think it's barley growing over there, after we harvest the barley, we'll go ahead and stretch that field out, get as much as we can. I still want to leave a gap between these two fields, and then we will just try to focus on fertilizing our fields with just organic material. I learned my lesson the first time and maybe I need a different tank. Maybe there's tanks that spread it more efficiently. But uh, yeah, if we're going to do it using slurry, we're going to need a whole lot of slurry, which means we're going to need a whole lot of cows. But we're well on our way as we have 70 right there in our pen and who knows, we might make a few few bucks here by the end of this episode and buy a few more cows. But really, we are focused on making money and not spending money, as we have been doing a whole lot of recently. But, um, as the old saying goes, you gotta spend money to make money, right? Unfortunately. So, once we get this corn going, we get a nice harvest for some silage. Uh, which actually I kind of, I need to buy a fermenting silo. Oh man, I'm just kind of adding on all the stuff we need to buy here. As I'm talking about, we need to make money. I'm talking about spending money as well. <laughs> That's just kind of the, the name of the game in, in farming, isn't it? Once you make a little bit, you got to spend it on some equipment or something broke down or something, you know. But... I think we are in a good spot to be in the black, 
as accountants like to say, as you know, Black Friday has just passed us. Hope everybody had a great Thanksgiving, by the way. Thankfully, we haven't had to take out any kind of loans or anything like that, so we don't owe any money. It's just we're not making a whole lot at the moment. But we're not broke, and our cows aren't starving. So, we're still in a good spot. Nice, and as we kind of finish up this last patch here, we can talk about some more plans. Not necessarily that are set in stone, but things that I might want to do in the future. Uh, these two fields right here in front of me are kind of taunting me. Every time I look at them, I, I want them. However, I know they're going to be a pretty big chunk of change, and I don't know if my superiors are going to allow that quite yet. It, it took quite a bit of uh, negotiation to get this field extended. But, you know, bigger fields are always better. Especially when they're on our land, might as well use it, and the soil composition is the same. So we're not taking, we're not really taking any risks on uh, wondering if anything's going to grow there or not. So let's go ahead and get this folded up and get connected to the lime spreader. While I'm spreading the lime, I'll go ahead and give the guys a call over at the dealership. And tell them I'm wanting to sell my uh, John Deere side-by-side -side thing. And then after we get the lime spread, we'll go ahead and get that down to the dealership as well as our cedar. There's a, there's a whole lot going on, guys. And we're just kind of taking it one, one thing at a time. So let's go ahead and get the lime spreader attached. And I have these discs on a, the back attached, which should give me an extra 6 meters spreading, but I'm really not sure how far that is. So I'm going to zoom out a little bit. Let's kind of turn it on just to see how far it goes. Okay. I mean, that's not bad. But it is going to take me a little bit, so... I'm just going to go ahead and get this done. Uh, I don't think I'm going to cut it into a time lapse. It might take a little bit too long. So I'll just catch up with you guys when I'm done. Well, this seems to be a reoccurring thing. Uh, I'm not done, but I'm, I'm pretty much out of lime. So this seems to be as good a time as any to get that little John Deere thing loaded. As well as the planter, actually, yeah. Let's go ahead and get the planter. Um, nah, let's just, uh, let's go ahead and get this this John Deere thing. I don't even know what to call it, because I, I haven't been in it. Like, I don't, I don't even know what its name is. It's a John Deere UXV. Okay, so actually, let's open the garage door for it real quick. Um, and we'll go see what they give me for it. I'll probably just end up driving the cedar all the way down there with one of the tractors. Alright, let's see what we get for our, our little UXV or XUV or whatever it is called. Okay, looks like they're willing to give me 23500 for it, which, I mean, heck yeah, I'll totally do that. And the guys said that they would, uh, Actually, just go ahead and send somebody down for my uh, cedar there. So I'm just going to go ahead and get rid of that right now. We're going to get $71,000 for it. Oh my gosh, why didn't I not get rid of that sooner? <laughs> wow, okay, well, we need to go get more cows. Oh my god, we have $100,000. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. We need to uh, take care of our field. So... Um, Really quickly, I'm going to... What, what do we need? We need lime. Okay, so I'm going to buy a bunch of lime really quick. And then we need to get a planter. And then we need to get some solid fertilizer. Okay. How was it? Oh, it's going to cost a whole lot to lease. Almost $4,500. Not almost. It's over $4,500 to lease. Um, But yeah, we we really only need it, need it for today. So... 
we can get this taken care of and get our field planted, um, we'll, we'll be in good shape. So I'm going to go ahead and have them load all this stuff up for me and then get back over to the farm and get back to work. Okay, so the thought didn't really occur to me that I didn't have a way to get that stuff off of the trailer until I got home. However, I have this... Oh, wait, wait, what are we connected to? Let's just disconnect from that. Okay. I have this front loader with the bail spike on it, and I forgot that I bought a bucket attachment because I thought I was going to use that to get the straw out of um, the cow's pen. I don't know if you guys noticed, but I cleaned all of that out. So that's all clean. Now this is straw that they can use for bedding, which is going to be turned into manure, which is then going to be turned into, you know, fertilizer and stuff like that. Um, but I bought this bucket attachment for it. So I'm thinking I could just kind of push the stuff off the trailer. It's not going to be the most elegant. Oops, excuse me there, truck. Go ahead and... Uh, Grab that. Yep, thank you. It's not going to be the most elegant, but uh, hopefully it'll work. I don't know how well it's going to work because this stuff is kind of heavy. Let's try it with this one first. Bam! Okay. That was successful. This is going to make quite the mess, but, uh, you know... Necessity is the mother of creativity, am I right? Nice. Actually, that doesn't look too bad. Staying in a nice stack. Oh, don't mess up my shed there, though. Get a nice run at it. Okay. And it doesn't really matter if they're mixed up, because these big bags are all going to be going into the same spot. Try to move that. Try to move that pallet of lime. <laughs> yeah. Nice. Okay. Oh, actually, that works. Bam. Everything's unloaded. Well, kind of. Get a nice push there. Cool. Actually, that worked out way better than I thought it was going to. Go ahead and put this tractor back. There we go. Oh, I'm in the, I'm in the barn. So we have 1,100 liters of slurry, which is sweet. We're actually kicking up slurry by the hour. Hopefully we, uh, we have enough to actually fertilize a field <laughs> next time we need it. But enough horsing around. I'm going to go ahead and finish liming the field so we can have a fully planted field by the end of this episode. Oh, actually, I need to <laughs> refill the lime. Come on, Patty. There we go, 9,000 liters of lime. And let's see how far this gets us. I Honestly, I doubt we'll even finish with this. I bet I'll need to refill again. These fields are needing this lime badly. Alright, let's refill one more time. And Oh man, I hope I got enough. <laughs> I hope I got enough lime to finish this thing. I don't want to make another trip back over to the dealership. I'm sure those guys are tired of seeing me. But if I do, it's all good. No big deal. Has to get done. Somebody's got to do it, and that somebody's me. You know what? I really need to clear some of these trees around here. A lot of them are kind of dead, and probably not the safest thing to be keeping around the property. Which means we could probably, be, which means we could probably make some money from them. Um, maybe in the next episode, uh, we do a few contracts make some money back from renting all of our stuff and 
and uh, maybe clear out some more space so that we can cut some more grass for free. Because we always need grass. Grass can be anything, right? It could be hay, it could be silage. Pretty valuable crop. Alright, this looks like it should be the last pass here, <laughs> and I really hope it is enough. I think we're going to be running out just as we finish up here. Oh man, yeah, look, it's getting kind of close. We're already down to 4%, uh, 3%. 2%. Oh, I don't I don't I think we're going to run out. 1%. E yeah. Oh, dang, that sucks. Oh my gosh. Do I <laughs> Do I have I think I might have one more sitting there. Oh, that sucks. Oh, sweet. Yeah, I <laughs> have one more pallet of lime sitting here. And, um, actually, I feel like I should, mm, maybe move that bag of fertilizer, because I don't want it to get confused. Uh, we'll see. Cool, yeah, it took the lime. Alright, so we have 500 liters. Hopefully that is enough to finish off that little section that we have. And then we are going to hop in the big New Holland, run down back to the dealership and grab the planter, and I think finish up this episode. <laughs> I might want to finish up this episode by buying uh, like 10 more cows because I think that's what we need to finish up filling up our cow barn there. Just because I think that'd be, you know, kind of kind of nice. <laughs> it's kind of my thing is whenever I have money, is I just go spend it on cows. So we have money um, and we have room for cows. Oh, Patty, don't be wasting all the lime like that. You shouldn't have started so early. Oh, no. Am I going to run out again? Oh, this is... Oh, no! Oh! <laughs> Just enough! Oh, my God. Okay, I'm going to go park this up and then switch over to the big New Holland on the tracks that I was talking about. I, can't, I, don't, I don't know the name of the tractor. I'm not that well versed in tractor names. But I know it's a big tractor, and I know it's a New Holland, so it's the big New Holland. I'm going to go ahead and hold on to this equipment, because like I was saying earlier, I think there might be some contracts next month that I can use it on. I'll just have to buy some more lime or whatever it needs. But at least I already have the equipment, so I won't have to take the hit on borrowing the equipment uh, for the contract. Okay, so... Remember this, the New Holland T9. I will remember the name, I promise. I'll stop calling it just the big New Holland. I'm sure that, that bugs a few people. But I am going to race down to the dealership at the lightning speed of 19 miles an hour and come back and get this field planted full of corn so we can close this episode out. I am really liking this map, though. Um, I, I think I mentioned this in maybe a few other episodes. This is the Split Mountain Ranch map. It is in Mod Hub. I have no idea if it's available for all platforms. That is not really my forte. Um, I just see the stuff and I think, hey, that would that'd be a fun map to make some content on. And I just start. I don't really do a whole lot of research into it. I apologize for that. I, I want to get better at that so I'm a better resource for you guys. So on this agonizingly slow journey, I can go I can go ahead and show you guys this cool shortcut that I found right behind the Johnson's Farmer's Market that actually gets us to the dealership a little bit quicker, not a whole lot quicker, just a, a little bit quicker, and it's just nice to see some different stuff. So if you go past that cell point, you go up to this bridge right here and I actually love this bridge I, I love this map just I like maps for their decoration a lot of the time and and uh, their expression I like to say as the as the designer makes the fields and the layout and stuff I tend to uh, lean more towards American style maps I really haven't done too many uh, European style maps I 
want to. However, they just don't really seem like my kind of flavor, I guess. I don't, I don't really know a lot else to say on that. I like the American maps because I like the big spaces and I like the big fields and um, I think in the European maps it would be a challenge for me, uh, you know, working around all those tight spots and everything, which it wouldn't be bad. I think it would be kind of entertaining to, to watch. But I feel like I just kind of need to be in the mood for that. So maybe when we finish one of the series as we're on, because I have like, I don't know, four series going on right now. So maybe when we finish one of those, uh, we move over into one of the Euro European style maps and try try one of those out. Also, uh, like, I, I want to apologize for my stuttering. I know it's a, probably bothers a few people and turns a few of you off. Um, I'm, I've tried to work on it a long time. And it really is kind of a work in progress to just get your words to flow, especially when you're recording. I, I know I'm just really talking to myself right now, um, and I don't really pay attention to my numbers or anything like that, so it's not like I get nervous, but I just feel like I get maybe a little flustered because I'm trying to do so many things for you guys and explain it all in the same time that sometimes I just kind of get a little ahead of myself with my words. So I appreciate you guys sticking around and uh, consuming my content. So here we are at the dealership picking up our planter so that we can finish up here and look it's already ready for some corn oh geez dang I really whipped that thing around didn't I? <laughs> I, didn't <re> <laughs> I didn't realize how oh no oh no this isn't good okay so what's going on here <laughs> sweet thanks guys appreciate it Okay, so let's not whip this thing around like it's a slinky anymore. Also, again, I know that um, using the solid fertilizer is just going to be overkill uh, because a large portion of our, of our field is already at 100% fertilized, but for the outer perimeter that we extend it out to, it is only at 50%, so adding the solid fertilizer while we plant is going to get us 100% fertilized, meaning that really the only thing we need to do after is, uh, well, roll, um, because the soil needs to be rolled, and then we need to spray some uh, herbicide to take care of the weeds, and then pretty much we just kind of hang out and let it grow. Um, in a few months, we're going to need to harvest our barley, which we have our harvester for, we have a header for, so we're pretty much all set up for that. We just might need to get a trailer um, but by that time, man, the milk money should be flowing, and we shouldn't be having a lot of slurry so that we can fertilize the field for uh, the next crop, which is going to, I think it's just going to be kind of a rotation of crops that give us straw. So I'll rotate between barley and uh, wheat because those are on quite a nice rotational cycle. It's like once you plant one, or once you harvest one, the other crop is. Uh, just about ready to be planted, so um, that should give us a nice continuous supply of straw for our cows, which eventually we are going to be needing for our TMI, T TMR mixer, not TMI, <laughs> TMI cows. I don't want to know about your, your straw and your all that, okay? Um, your slurry for sure is TMI. Um. <laughs> But yeah, so we're going to have a lot of straw, and then once this corn is growing, it's going to give us a ton of silage because, as I've said about seven times now, we've overly fertilized this field and taken care of it. I feel like I'm doing a pretty good job, but if there's something you guys think I should be doing or if there's something I've missed or there's a process that might make my life easier, please let me know down in the comments. I'm always open to trying new things or downloading new mods, or um, if you have a question about any of the things I'm using in ga in my gameplay, any of the gameplay, uh, please, you know, hit me up, let me know down in the comments. Uh, I kind of realized 
while I was uh, spraying the liquid fertilizer that I'm in kind of a small farm mindset and we need to really get into a big commercialized mindset so uh, I think it's gonna be a uh, goodbye to all of the trees and um, next time we harvest we are really going to be expanding all of our fields and we are going to be focusing on probably buying a new cow barn yeah each one of these trees to me just has dollar signs sitting right above them and uh, each one of those dollar signs can be you know turned into more cows okay let's go ahead and uh get our planter in place there and go ahead and reload on some seeds yep okay grab some solid fertilizer there and go ahead and grab another thousand liters bam okay cool we are all ready to get our corn planted this is actually a big step, guys. This is really exciting. Oh, watch out for those pieces of equipment there. This is really exciting. I'm glad we realized that we could uh, get rid of that John Deere side-by-side -side thing. I'm sorry I keep calling it a thing. I just I don't know what the name is. Holding is not allowed. What? Oh. What's going on here? Holding... What? It is attached to this attacher joint. What? Um. So, problem. I guess my tractor attacher is not the right one and will not let my planter unfold what's going on here okay let's kind of zoom in here see what's going on this attacher joint oh am I just dumb oh I think I'm just dumb which I mean it's not nice kids don't no, don't don't ever close yourself dumb <laughs> Um, I think we're still going to be able to use the other tractor. I just need to attach it from this spot right here uh, where you see that little yellow circle. I think I just need to attach it from a different spot, essentially. <clears throat> Look at us. We're learning. Okay, so let's go ahead and... Yep. See? See guys, I know what I'm doing. Sometimes I sometimes I know what I'm doing. I <laughs> don't like this tractor. Oh, I love this tractor, but I don't like how it articulates in the middle. You need to unfold the cedar first. Oh, folding is not okay. There's all these things I'm doing wrong, so we need to unfold it. Is that really it? Nothing else happened? Okay. Let's go ahead and lower it. Turn it on. Wow. Okay. <sighs> I totally forgot that that corn is not a March plant. Thanks, guys. Why didn't you tell me that before I did all of this work? <laughs> Oh my gosh, I just wasted, like, no, I don't want to say I wasted, but I just spent, like, the last, I don't know, two hours thinking that, um, I was going to plant some corn today in this episode, um, but I think it's going to be a next episode thing, along with doing some contracts and chopping down some trees. That's okay. Um, we're actually going to go ahead and end this one out on, uh, buying some more cows then. Like, I... <laughs> Like I jokingly said in the beginning, or not in the beginning, after I uh, after I sold my John Deere thing and the cedar. 
let's just go ahead and park this right here. Let's hop in the big rig. I'm just going to leave my mess here. Uh, it can be cleaned up another day because we are still in the planting process. As we are learning, corn is an April plant. Corn is an April plant. Corn is an April plant. Okay. Gotta remember these things. Beep. Alright, sweet. Go ahead and destroy all those nice bushes right there. Yep, cool. Wide turn coming out. Good thing there's not very much traffic. And then uh, we'll just run down to the animal dealer and get 10 more cows. And we will have a full cow barn, which means, which only means, we have to buy another one at some point because we are now a cow farm, cow dairy, whatever. I don't know. We got a lot, We have a lot of cows, and they're making milk. However, I know that's going to cost a ton of money. So we need to make our cows extra happy so they produce a whole lot of milk. Which will in turn buy us more cows. Let's go ahead and do the cow loading wiggle here. Luckily their dock really isn't super hard to back up to. And just like that. Bam! Okay. I think I'm on the right side. Yep. Nice. And uh, let's go ahead and buy ten of these bad boys. Select. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. It's going to cost us $15,000. Yes, please. Thank you very much. Alright, pleasure doing business with you. How you doing, cows? Good to meet you. You guys are actually a very special load because you signify the filling of our cow barn. So, let's go ahead and get you guys down to your friends. And, um... I'm going to <laughs> go relax and watch the Weather Channel and remind myself that corn is an April plant. Yeah, I'm for sure going to get rid of like all of these trees. They were nice and they were pretty to look at, but now they're just kind of all in the way. And especially with how close I have to get to this giant pit of doom there. Oh my god, I feel like I'm just going to fall in. I bet those cows are wetting right now um, I think it'd just be better and safer for everybody if we just kind of got rid of them let's open this gate I got to back in a little bit further <laughs> come on truck there we go alright just to make sure we're in the trigger there Okay, let's go ahead and move these guys into the husbandry. Bada bing, sweet. And we are officially full on our first cow barn. This is a really exciting day. Um, thank you guys all for watching. I really appreciate it. This has been quite the journey for sure. However, it's just beginning. Um, yeah, I really appreciate you guys watching. And uh, I'll see you in the next one. Have a great rest of your day. Let's go ahead and jump into it right here. Um, first of all, I hope everybody is having a great day. So I've done about three rows of baling this hay. I've spent the better part of my morning getting this contract done because I saw it early early this morning posted on the job board and it was gonna give us over $20,000, which I don't know if you can see up in the top right, but we are sitting at $75,000. And as I stated, my plan for today is to get us a new cow barn. However, new cow barns are about $80,000. And there's also a few extra costs as well because we're going to need a manure heap and we're going to need some cows. I don't want to just sit in there empty not being used. So we're going to need to make a little bit of money 
and bailing this hay, getting it sold over to the animal dealer, I think where we got to take it, is going to give us, I think, a pretty good amount. And uh, as you can see, I got my uh, little New Holland. It's not a little New Holland. It's a, it's like a medium-sized New Holland. Uh, I'll treat it right. <laughs> Sitting there with the bale pick-up trailer. Um, I got all these tools spread out sporadically right here that I've been using uh, that I rented. And I also rented this sweet Kloss? Class? I don't know how to pronounce this. But I really like their color scheme, and I really like this brand. Um, it was just kind of coincidental that I got the... the baler and the tractor together what is your favorite tractor brand i'm really curious to know what everybody's favorite brand is there's tons of brands out there there's tons of different utilities and uses for them um i'm st i'm starting to really like new holland i uh, i like the color scheme and i like the i just like the the form of their tractors i think they look really good uh, but i know a lot of people are just die hard John Deere fans. I know a lot of people love those tractors. Um, this Kloss brand, I'm sure this has a huge following for it, but just yeah, let me know down in the comments which one is your favorite. Alright, looks like we're finishing up this last row here. I got my pretty nice big old New Holland sitting there waiting to get to planting because uh, in the last episode we totally messed up and thought I could plant a uh, corn in March, which you can't do. That's not a thing you can do. You have to plant in, in April. You can plant sunflowers and stuff like that in March, but you can't plant corn. I had to wait. So as I finish up here, I'm going to be hopping into my other New Holland that's sitting there ready to pick up all the bales. Um, it's probably going to take me a few trips. There's quite a few bales here. Let me know your guess right now before I... Um, here, actually, can I unload this? Uh, let's turn it off, right? And then unload. Bang. Okay, cool. Perfect. All right, cool. So, yeah, this is going to take me a few trips. But we'll get it done. And I'll have a final tally for how many hit bales of hay this was. Um, at, at the final trip when, I, when we get to the animal dealer. An operating position there we go okay cool I've never used this one so I have no idea what is it what it's gonna do is it gonna just just shoot them up onto the trailer let's watch oh wait actually that's pretty cool oh dang well daggum that's actually way simpler than I thought it was gonna be I thought I was gonna like shoot them up into the air onto the trailer and be some kind of crazy circus act but no Real easy, sets it up there, and then probably when it gets to... Oh, nope, just two. Hmm, okay. Okay, so seven's 50%, meaning we can hold 14 total bales. Um, alright. Let's see how many trips we take. At 14 bales per trip. This is a big stepping stone in getting us enough money for a new barn. Uh, we're totally ready for one because our first cow barn is full. We're sitting at 80 cows right now, and those guys are just pumping out milk, slurry, manure, all kinds of stuff. So we are really, oh geez, we're really going to need to start kicking it into gear and thinking like a high level producing cow farm. Let's go ahead and get in the transporting position, and we'll get up onto the road here, Patty. Come on. I'll be acting like a savage. Oh yeah, I can't wait to just expand this field, this giant barley field, all the way out to these trees and this fence. And then I'm thinking I'm going to buy, there's a little field way out there, if you look on the on the map here, we'll make it bigger. Um, it's number 16. I'm going to buy that. Oh jeez, I ran into my own fence. You guys are distracting me. I'm going to buy that field and expand 15 into it. So it's just going to be a giant, like, straw producing field constantly. Because we're going to need a lot of straw, we're going to need a lot of grass. A lot of grass and well, a lot of silage, I guess. So that's why we're doing. That's why we're planting the cornfield. All right, here we are for trip number one. Let's go ahead and let them know we're here. Hello. <laughs> and oh, we're gonna have to unload, huh? Is that? I bet it's gonna be some cool animation there. Uh, it just like pushes it. 
Oh, jeez, look at that. That's intense. Uh, do we do it again? Unload bills here. Bam! Okay, look at that. Nice. Oh, that's actually kind of cool. <laughs> and then uh, lower loading platform. 55% transported. Okay, cool. So it looks like one more trip, and that will satisfy our contract requirements, meaning the rest will be for us to sell. But it looked like maybe we probably had probably one more trailer full... Ah, uh, one and a half, maybe, trailers full? I, I, I don't know. Look, we were about 40% through the field. Okay, so our third and final trailer full of hay bales. We had about eight bales, and it gave us, I think, 9800 and something dollars. And now we have a grand total of $112,240 to play with to get our new cow barn all situated. But really quickly before we do that, I think I'm going to do some cleaning up of the area that I'm going to put the cow barn in. I want to keep it close to the other cows because I want them to be... I don't want them to be lonely. I don't want them to feel separated. So I'm thinking I'm going to put the new cow barn kind of like right along this fence line right here. I might keep these trees because I kind of like them for shade for my cows. They See, they're kind of like hanging out in the shade. But I'm thinking these three tall, uh, what are you? Oh, three p tall pines, they need to go. So I am going to run over and go grab the flatbed. Because we are going to load these up and go sell these. Might as well get a little bit more, more money as well. So I'm going to get these few trees chopped up here and loaded onto the flatbed by hand. And then we're going to run down to the carpentry area, because we haven't seen that yet. So that's going to be kind of cool. Maybe there's another collectible there waiting for us. Let's go ahead and hop out of the truck here. Pull the old trusty chainsaw out. And we're going to cut these down into the field, going this way. Do as much as we can, even though these are huge trees. This is going to be, we're going to have to cut them down to tiny little, tiny little logs to pick up and put on the flatbed. But that's okay. And we're also going to be getting rid of the stump with the chainsaw as well. There we go. Just turn the chainsaw like this. Hold it for a second, and away she goes. Um, can I pick that up? Hmm. Is that part of the tree still? What's going on here? Nice! Okay, actually, we can get rid of the stump. That's amazing. Cool. So I'm gonna get rid of these two stumps really quickly. Oh, whoops. Nice, just kind of walk down the trunk there. And then, um... We'll just uh, chop it, like, right there. I'm, I'm not... I'm not gonna be overconfident and, like, think I'm gonna be able to lift, like... 10 foot long logs. Even this is getting kind of big right here. I feel like getting maybe too, a little too heavy. Alright, put the chainsaw away. Pick this bad boy up. Cool, yeah. I think that pine tree was a little bit lighter than I thought it was going to be. So we'll just go ahead and load. No, we'll load from the front. We'll load from the front right there. Put that one. Cool. Alright, I'll get these loaded. I'll catch up with you guys when everything is all strapped down and we're headed to the carpenter. Okay, looks like I got all the, lo the logs loaded there. I realized it was easier just to move the truck than to run back and forth holding the logs because I was getting pretty sweaty and they were pretty heavy. So we are going to run over down to the best place to sell wood right now, which would be carpentry or a sawmill. Let's go to the carpentry. They're paying a little bit more. It looks like 50, 60 bucks more. Let's go ahead and tag that place. Oh, look up in the sky for our handy dandy marker. And it's way over there. Okay, so I'll figure out how to get over there. And I'll meet you guys there and see how much we get for all these pine logs. All right, here we are at the carpentry. Oh, jeez, what's going on? We're good, we're good. 
So, okay, cool. I've never been to this area. I think we might need to do a little scouting out to see if there's any little plastic pigs or harvesters or anything like that, because I bet there are. Um, but let's go ahead and, uh, I guess, unload the wood right here. Yeah, and then let's hop out of the truck. Go over to this thing right here. Sell wood. Nice, it sold about half of it. Okay, cool. We got 1100 bucks for that. Or maybe only about a quarter, actually, so... Maybe I'm just going to have to throw all of this wood off into a pile right there, because this is kind of like an, an awkward... I like an awkward angle here. <laughs> just tossing it. There we go. Go ahead and sell the wood. Oh. <laughs> the trailer's in the way. <laughs> Of course. Alright, so trailer's out of the way there, and I think, if my eyes don't deceive me, we got a little plastic thing right here. Cool. Nice, got a thousand more bucks just for finding something. Always a good day. Let's go ahead and lift this up, bring it over to his friends, and maybe get like another, I don't know, thousand bucks or something. 1700! Oh, look, we got one that's a little straggler kind of left behind. Come here, little buddy. You gotta go. Sorry. Alright. $99 for that little piece of wood. Sweet. Let's go back over to the farm and get designing on our new cow barn. Oh, heck yeah. Look at Good thing I looked, too. Here's one. Oh, let me grab it. There we go. Is there any more over here? And here's two. Look, at that's $2,000. $3,000, actually, just for going to a new area of the map. I love flying collectibles. I think they're a cool addition to Farming Simulator. Kind of forced me to explore. Okay, so I'm thinking that we're going to line the cow barn up. Fen like, like, we're going to line the fence up with these guys, kind of leave a bit of a gap here, maybe four or five feet so that these trees have room and we can cut this grass in between. But I want them to be friends. I want them to be able to talk to each other. I don't want them to feel separated. So let's go ahead and hop into the construction mode here. Kind of zoom out a bit. Go over to animals, cows, and we're going to be doing this one. What's going on with the camera here? Come on. There we go. Okay, so yeah, I was thinking maybe we put it, like, right over here somewhere. Kind of give it a nice spot next to the road, a good amount of room for us to back in with the livestock trailer, and kind of keep the slurry next to the other manure. Hmm. What do you guys think? Does that look good? Right there? Overlaps with another object. Where? What? What? Okay, so now I can place it. I just had to paint the ground first. Interesting. Oh, I actually kind of want it closer. Well, I'm glad I figured that out. Cool. Okay, so if we put it right here, that's going to cost us 81000 which I actually really like it right there. Okay, cool. Bam. Okay, only leaves us with <laughs> $36,300 there. So let's go over to silo extensions. We need a manure heap. And uh, how do we turn this bad boy? How do I turn it? Like that. Okay. There we go. I want it like that. Right about there. What do you guys think? Is that good? Is that pretty? Alright, we only got... Oh man, we only got $11,000, so... We're probably not going to get too many cows, but... If we just get a few, that's better than nothing. So I'm going to hop back into our big rig here, but I'm going to disconnect from the flatbed. Going to connect over to the cattle wagon. And get us maybe, I don't know, it's going to cost 
shoosh, maybe I can maybe get five gals. I don't know, but five is really better than nothing. And we need to get working on planting the field. That's gonna be the last thing we do in this episode. Oh, I only folded the ramps. Whoops, by accident. Alright, let's fold those back up. Oh, do I have straw for them? Ooh, good question. I'm gonna roll by my, um... Ooh, doesn't look like I have straw. Uh-oh. Nope, only got hay bales. Okay. And it's not like I can take straw out of these guys. They got 38,000 liters of it. <laughs> that is a problemo there, folks. That's okay. I think they can go, like, a couple days without straw. Go back up into here. Get right underneath it. There we go. Bang. Okay. Um, five cows, please. Let's buy the middle-priced ones. Okay. Go ahead and buy five of these guys. Buy five. Yes. Okay, cool. Okay, so we got five more cows in our trailer. We got $5,700 left in our bank account. Let's get some new hooves in our new cow barn. Man, this is exciting, guys. This is a big step for us. This is a really, really big step. Having a second cow barn, we're going to start producing milk and slurry and, and manure like crazy. Which means we're only going to be adding more cows and making more money. Cause it's a really big reach to get to three million in three years. Honestly, like it's what's going on? Whoa, that was weird. Oh, can I uh, can I just move them straight into the husbandry right here? Cool. Let's go ahead and select them. Bang. Move to husbandry. Yes. All right, guys. Welcome to your new home. I appreciate you guys being the new additions to the brand new cow barn. You guys are gonna love it here. I got you situated up next to your friends. Um, but I got. Oh, hey, actually, I made a little bit of money from my solar panels. Perfect. That's amazing. Uh, so I'm going to go and actually call the guys at the dealership right now. Order some straw. Where's the, where's the, this, that, that one. Okay. Order some straw, round bale. I mean, what's the difference? What's the difference? Why is one cheaper than the other? I don't know. I'm gonna go for the I'm gonna go for the cheaper one. Let's go this one. Yeah. Uh, oh, actually, but uh, I was gonna take my truck, so we should probably buy the square ones. Get four of those. All right, it's gonna be about thirty-eight hundred dollars. Go ahead and buy that. Oh wait, so it's gonna be about five thousand one hundred sixty dollars. Dang, I was looking at the wrong spot. Okay, so got that waiting for us down there. Okay, so I'm gonna. Get this parked up. I'm going to hop into my pickup truck, attach that to the the milk tanker, fill up with some milk, go sell the milk, and then go pick up the straw bales. I know, that was a lot. Alright, 8,000 liters of milk right there. Now let's get on down. Actually, let's check the highest price. Trying to make the most money here. Some milk's right there. Bang. Okay. And of course, Johnson's Farm Mark, Johnson's Farmers Market has the highest price right there. So let's go run down there real quick. And it's perfect because that's actually on the way to the co-op, which is where our straw bales are, sitting there waiting for us to be bedding for our brand new cows. We really didn't need to sell this milk. Um, but I just didn't want to be sitting at a thousand dollars. Kind of scares me. I feel like I'm gonna have expenses come out. I don't want to be sitting in the negative. Luckily, we have our solar panels that are paying us every hour. Not a whole lot. Looks like about a thousand. Dang, this thing is squirrely. About a thousand something dollars every hour. But hey, that's actually. I mean, when it, it really adds up. Coming in hot. Look out. And I think it's this one. All right. One of them. Nice! We got $16,515 on that. And actually, why am I spinning all the way around? Because I'm going to be going down the shortcut. I'm picking up the straw bales. I'm going to throw them on the flatbed. 
Um, hopefully they have a forklift for me there. I, mean, I know they do. I'm just being kind of in expecting right now. That's okay. I'm in a hurry. We gotta plant our cornfield as soon as possible. Woo! <laughs> I was like Dukes of Hazard there. Oh man, okay, so these straw bales are way <laughs> bigger than I thought they were gonna be. Oh man, okay, so I'm gonna get these loaded up and we'll get back down to the farm. <laughs> okay, so we got the straw bales all <laughs> loaded. <laughs> We're looking a little precarious here. Oh man. I'm trying to turn all the way around. <laughs> These are a little bigger than I thought they were gonna be, so uh, I had to make do I had to make do with what I got on my space here, you know what I mean? So hopefully we get all the way over there without tipping over. Actually, we're pretty centered holding the trailer. Cool. Actually I'm gonna I'm gonna try my luck here and Hit the gas, try to follow this around. And luckily we're our, we got our straps on our hay bales here. Oh! Oh, actually, yeah, look, we're like solid. It's keeping us planted down to the ground. I thought we were going to be way top heavy, but luckily we have our trailer on. <laughs> Don't try this at home, kids. Look at this. This is wild. The the trailer is the trick. Oh, watch out for traffic! Woo! Tokyo Drift! <laughs> that thing was totally sideways! <laughs> and you guys know me, the first thing I want to do when I get more money is go, is go get more cows. <laughs> but we're not going to do that. We're going we're gonna to stick to our plan here. We're going to hop in the big old New Holland. After we get these hay bales dropped off, we're going to get the cows fed. Woo! Right at the end, don't tip over. Nice. We're going to hop in the big New Holland, and we're going to get planted, because... I mean, it's already April, halfway through April, where we are doing one-day months. So, we need to get to work. Stop lollygagging. Lolly also, I think, um, after I let you guys go, I'm going to get rid of all these trees. Maybe get a little bit more, more money there. And probably get some more cows. Because, like I said, I like to spend money on cows. So, let's go ahead and unstrap these. And then we're going to hop into our John Deere. So let's just go ahead and drop the trailer right there. Bang. Oh, not that one. Uh, that one. Cool. So I got two right there. Not the best. Oh, don't hit the truck. Oh, jeez. All right. That's not the... It's not an OSHA-approved load, I know, but um, we're going to work with what we got here. Somewhere right there, right there, right there, right there, right there. Right there. Bam. Okay, cool. So I'm gonna go ahead and get the other stack of two straw bales thrown in here for their bedding as well. And then we're gonna hop into our new Holland attached to the planter. Starter planting. I know I've said that like a hundred times in this episode, but man, taking care of these cows is quite quite the undertaking, especially when we have two cow barns now. But this is what we signed ourselves up for, so I think they're a little too far outside the the area. There we go. That one's gone. And this one should be gone in two seconds. Cool. There we go. But nice. Look, you guys got your own little pasture here. You're all set up with food. You got some straw. Now we're just waiting for you to make some milk. You can talk to your friends right over across the gate there. You got some shade with the trees. Man, I think I'm doing pretty good at this cow farming stuff, honestly. Now, like I said earlier, probably after I close this episode out, I'm going to go buy some more cows. We need to go hop in our New Holland and get to planting. We got all of that work done. And I have all of my seeds and my solid fertilizer just in case I run out because this is just a huge, huge field, honestly. I know it doesn't really seem like it, but once you start getting into it and start working, this field is massive. Let's go ahead and start finally planting. Let's get lined up here. I think I'm going to do a couple laps around the headland first. Lower it. Oh, I'm excited. You need to unfold it. Oh, okay. What? What's going on here? So I need to lift it, 
and then unfold it, right? Okay, and then lower it again. And now start. Oh, okay, cool. We're planting. We're planting corn! Oh, look at that! Oh, come on, Petty, don't miss your... Don't miss your perimeter there. This thing likes to wiggle. I can't forget. Let's go ahead and zoom out a tiny bit here. Oh, it's... Ah, uh, man, I should have really cut down those trees. They're kind of messing with my visibility, trying to see the edge of the field there. Sweet. I'm so excited to see what this harvest gives us. And again, we don't need the uh, solid fertilizer for the big center portion where the, the previous crop of grass was because we cultivated straight into that and it gave us a urged layer of fertilized state, which is great. But I'm just going to do it for overkill. Let's go ahead and lift that up. And yeah, we'll go that way. Uh, I can't see! Go this way with it. This probably would have been easier with the uh, T7, I think is the other New Holland I have. I think this is the T9, right? Um, there we go. Go start planting. This probably would have been easier with that tractor, but we haven't used this tractor very much, and you know what? I figured it wouldn't be too much of overkill. We might be able to go faster. Get more done. It's got a lot more, a lot more horsepower, a lot more traction. Oh dang! Okay, looks like we're already running out of seeds, though. Good thing we made it all the way back to the beginning. So I'll just go ahead and lift up right here. Turn it off. I had ten liters of seeds left. Oh man. Okay. Let's go ahead and uh, kind of back up into the seeds right here. And let's refill. Oh, it's getting the fertilizer, but that's fine. Whatever. Grab the seeds. Bang! Okay, it only holds 660 liters. Dang, that's not a whole lot. Good thing we got a ton of seeds. So I'm thinking I might uh, go ahead and make this into a nice little time lapse, maybe, maybe do a nice little lap here. Okay, and just like that, with about two more passes, planting season, and this episode will be coming in to a close here. I really appreciate you guys watching. Uh, today has been a really big step in making progress for our cow farm. We added a new barn. We added some new cows. We got our, our corn. Oh, I turned it off. Whoops. <laughs> Uh, we got our corn field planted, which is going to be a huge amount of silage, which we're going to make into TMR later on in the year. But luckily, as you can see, there's a little bit of rain here in the forecast. We're finishing just in time. But yeah, I really appreciate you guys watching. If you have any suggestions or anything you want me to do, anything uh, you think I could do better, let me know down in the comments. Um, but... Hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day, and um, yeah, I'll catch you in the next one. Nice. Fully planted. Fully fertilized. Now we just wait. Oh, also, don't be surprised if in the next episode, all these trees are gone. Yeah, every single one. Alright, well, I hope everybody is having a great day. As I mentioned in the beginning of the video, it's time to just kind of cut these trees down around the cornfield. Our corn is starting to sprout up nicely, as you can see here. Where it was growing before, like where the old grass field was, these weeds are starting to sprout up. So we need to get 
he's taken care of because I don't want this field looking like our uh, barley field over here. I know it's really pretty with all the colors and everything, but we don't really actually want these weeds growing. They are going to be a detriment when it comes to harvest time. We need to get the field all cleaned up and looking like this part right here where there's no weeds growing in between. Um, but I just kind of figured, you know, to make our lives a little easier uh, because the sprayer has really long arms. And then when it comes to harvest time, the harvester is kind of wide as well. I'm going to cut all of these trees that are really close to the perimeter of the field. I've already got one tree cut down over there on the flatbed. I have no idea if I'm actually going to be able to get another tree up on here. It's kind of taking up a lot of room, as you can kind of see. But I need to get as much wood loaded up on here as I can. I don't really have any other way to get it over to, uh, like, the carpentry logging area besides just my flatbed here. I already got the sprayer and the herbicide rented. I don't, well, you don't rent herbicide, but I purchased the herbicide, rented the sprayer. In total, that was, like... $6,000, I think. And luckily we had some income brought in from our solar panels, so that's always nice. It's not a whole lot. About $5,000 a month. Which, I mean, it sounds like a lot, but we got a lot going on around here. We got a lot of cows to feed. We have, a, we have big fields, and uh, we have big equipment that needs all kinds of stuff, and repairing, and maintenance, and um, also, at the end of the last episode, I went ahead and bought, I think, 10 more cows to add to our second cow barn that we have, um, bringing us to a grand total of 95. So we've got 95 cows hanging out in the shade, eating hay, uh, costing money, and making us money as well. So, Alright, so I got a lot of the trees on that side cleared. So we're looking pretty good there. I just got this one knocked down. Um, I I think I'm going to try to squeeze it up onto the flatbed. I, it looks like a jungled mess right now, I know. But I got to get as much as I can on there because I don't want to keep taking a bunch of trips. So uh, we still have about two or three trees I'm going to chop down this way. And then um, as I'm exiting, I'll show you guys. I'm not really going to chop down the trees along the fence line just yet because I don't really have anywhere to drop them. I don't want to drop them down into my cornfield because that would probably just squish the little baby corns. So for now, they're just going to stay, and I'm, I'm just going to kind of deal with that headache. Uh, thankfully, I'm not going to have to spray around the edge on that side, so it, it won't be too bad. Okay, so there's three full trees loaded up onto the flatbed. we got to get this down to the carpentry area and kind of see what kind of cash we get. Get back over here and start spraying on our field. Okay, so as I was saying earlier, it's these trees along the, the fence line right here. I have no idea how I'm going to drop these. I don't want to drop them into my cornfield. So for now, they're just going to stay. I don't think I'm going to have to get too close to them with the sprayer because this part is doesn't seem to be growing any weeds. So hopefully I don't joust any cars on the way there. So I've been having pretty good luck with this flatbed on not tipping over just because I'm pretty sure the center of gravity is really low and I've really been testing my luck here so let's kind of see oh no oh come on nice like it never happened all right so we made it here let's go ahead and back it up into the shop door there for them they can start unloading this all right, so we'll put it right about there for them. All right, so we got 4,800 for the first half of the trailer. I just need to maneuver it into a better spot so they can grab the other half. All right, 2,700 for that one. Oh, we got two little stragglers sitting here. And $86 for those little twigs. Okay, cool. So I'm going to go back over to the farm. The last couple trees that I pointed out chopped down, make my way back over here, and then we are going to start spraying because we got to get rid of those weeds. All right. 
right, there's both the trees that we wanted gone. Got them all loaded up. Next step is just to get back down to the logging area and get rid of it. Pretty much for the first year here, um, the main focus is just going to be expansion. And spending all of the money that we make, pretty much, to make more. Alright, see what we get for the first half there. 2100. Okay, we got 1500 for that load right there. Cool. Sitting close to about $17,000. Which actually could probably get us a whole other load of cows. Hmm. I know we have about 11,000, maybe 12,000 liters of milk. Sitting there ready to be sold. Which is probably going to get us uh, maybe a twenty. Maybe close to $20,000. And typically I like to end these episodes by adding more cows to our herd. But we might just do that starting the next episode. Might just cut the spraying into a nice little time lapse for you guys. Maybe kind of call it there for this episode. I think we are going to be harvesting our barley field soon. So we'll have that to do. We'll go buy some more cows. We still have a whole lot of hay left over for them. Alright, so we already got the sprayer connected to our nice T7 New Holland here. This is actually quickly becoming like my favorite tractor. Get this baby unfolded. And we'll get to work. As I mentioned before several times, uh, the area we expanded into does not need to be sprayed. Just the area that was previously um, the field. Get that on. There we go. Okay, so we pretty much got the cornfield all taken care of and sprayed. And uh, I've explained this a couple times, but our, our plan for this field is to turn the corn into silage. Um, and use that for our uh, TMR that we're going to be feeding our cows. Uh, we have a giant barley field over there, which is going to be, it's not giant, but it's pretty big. It's going to be producing some straw for us, and we'll be able to sell the barley, which is nice. Um, the plan for that field right over there is to expand that, of course, um, on both sides into that neighboring field that way, and then over towards the fence line that way. So we'll have a whole lot of straw being made, we'll have a whole lot of silage being made from the corn. And then the last thing I'm pretty sure we're going to need for making TMR is hay. So we will be able to just kind of make hay out of all of the grass we still have around our property. I am eventually going to be buying a field and making just making that just a grass field. Okay, so let's go ahead and go and unload our herbicide close to our shed over here. There we go. Got that IBC sitting there. So now we just kind of need to load this back up onto the flatbed because we're going to be returning our sprayer. Go ahead and just pull it out. But I think this is probably a good place to call this episode right here. I've gotten most of what I wanted to do done. We got the trees cleaned up and we got the field taken care of. So we're not going to have that giant weed problem that we had with the barley field. And that was just, you know, because we were just getting started. We didn't have really any money to get started with. And we just needed to get something going because we had several empty fields. On our next harvest for it, it's going to do a lot better. It's going to be a lot healthier. It's going to be better fertilized. So we'll get a way better yield from it. Okay, so we got about 11,450 liters of milk sitting here in this uh, cow barn. And probably not as, not even close to as much in this one. But that's, 
that's a pretty penny right there, knowing that our tanker holds about 9,000 liters, and we have, oh, 1,100 liters right here, so... Okay, so we got close to about 13,000 liters of milk, which, yeah, that's gonna be a pretty penny when we sell that. For sure gonna do that in the next episode, which is gonna go ahead and buy us some more cows to give these guys some more friends, which is just gonna keep ramping up production as we go along. But for now, I'm just gonna go ahead and let you guys enjoy the rest of your day. I really appreciate y'all watching, and uh, I'll see you in the next one. Okay, cool. I just finished feeding these cows over here. We got to make sure that we keep these guys happy because they are producing a ton of milk for us, which is making a bunch of money as well. So these guys have about 3,000 liters of milk sitting here waiting to be sold. And then this cow barn over here has almost 18,000 liters sitting here waiting to be sold as well. So um, we know from our previous selling of the milk that we can get uh, about $16,000 if we fill one of these things up. So, can you guys stop moving? I'm trying to talk here. Sheesh, it's very rude. Anyway, we're probably going to have to take a few trips over to the farmer's market to get all the milk sold because today is very exciting. Let me hop over in the John Deere real quick to show you guys why. It's time to harvest the barley field. And this is a really big deal because this is the first straw harvest that we're going to have for our farm here. We're trying to be self-sustaining. So if we're going to have a lot of cows, we're going to have to have a lot of straw, a lot of hay, a lot of grass, a lot of silage. And this is the very start of it. Unfortunately, we were not able to take care of the weeds or fertilize it um, because we just didn't have the money. And we had a whole bunch of other projects going on. So the plan today is to take care of this field right here. Uh, we got the big old case harvester sitting here ready to get to work. Got her all cleaned up, checked everything out. She's She is ready to harvest. Unfortunately, we are not ready to harvest as I need a trailer, um, one, to collect the, the barley that is going to be harvested, right? I also need a way to pick up the straw that is going to be thrown on the floor because we need to give that to our cows. So I'm going to need to rent a baler and a windrower as well. I don't have those pieces of equipment, so we're going to have to rent them. So before we can get to work harvesting, I'm going to go load up all of the milk that I can, get that sold, get the equipment we need, and then come all the way back down to the farm and get to work. Oh, daggum! You guys have a lot of manure sitting here waiting to be used. Got 52,000 liters. Ugh, okay, yeah. You guys keep building that up. I'm going to need it for my next my next uh, planting season. Alright, let's get filled up there. And let's fill up. Oh, okay, we got 8,000 liters. Uh, let's go ahead and check the price of milk right now. Um, it's been pretty good to us before. Oh, daggum. Hmm. Okay, so I feel like this map maybe just likes to play the game of wait till next month because we're currently in June, right? Right here. This is the worst time to sell milk, and next month is July, which apparently is the best time to sell milk. Um, but I've played, I've played this waiting game before, and the game just kind of pushes it on to the next month, and I don't want to waste another four months. So we're just going to end up selling all of this. My guess is I'm going to make um, $12,000 off of each tank. Alright, let's see how much we get for this first tank full. I don't remember which one it is. It's that one? Cool. Oh! 15579 So I was wrong, but I'm actually happy with being wrong in that instance. I'm going to go ahead and get this all sold, though, and then I'll catch up with you guys when that's done. Okay, there's only about 1,900 liters sitting in that barn left. Let's run over to this one. We might get over... Might just be over half a tank. So, 
There we go. Yep, 60%. Okay, let's go get this sold. Thank you, cows. Appreciate it. You guys are awesome. Alrighty, and that's another $9,460 right there. After selling all the milk, we have $83,227 sitting in our bank account. Um, I'm going to go ahead and drive on down to the dealership and check out the equipment that we need. We're going to need a trailer, we're going to need a wind rower, and we're going to need a baler. I'm going to go drop off the milk tinker at the farm, grab the big rig with the flatbed, and get on down to business. Okay, so my plan is to buy probably a cheaper trailer that we can dump all of our crops into. Um, and then I'm going to rent, maybe buy the other equipment. We'll see. We'll see how much it costs. I don't want to spend all of the money because I really want to buy uh, some cows. We only have 15 in the other pen. It holds 80, so we might as well get a bunch more. Trailers. I think this Welger is probably a good first trailer for us. It's got a cover. It holds, what is that, 8,000 liters or something? I don't know. A bunch. Holds a lot. Yeah, let's just go ahead and buy this one. That $13,000 with the cover. Okay. Cool. Now we need a wind rower. I'm thinking I just go ahead and buy this one. That's another twenty thousand dollars, so we'll be at about forty-nine thousand. Mm, okay. We still need to rent the baler after this. Do I really need to buy this? Yeah, because we're gonna be cutting our grass and everything too, so go ahead and buy that one. Actually, what am I doing here? How much is it to rent one of these bad boys? $10,000? Okay, that's cheaper than buying the windrower and renting a baler. I think we go with this one. And it's a new Holland. Gotta stick with the brand. Oh, they have longer arms. Oh, daggum. Hmm. Another, how much more is it to lease? Oh, it's only another thousand to lease? Oh, yeah, yeah, let's do this one. Perfect. Okay, so pretty much we should be all set to go harvest our barley field now. Let me have these guys load this up on my flatbed. Get back down to the farm. Luckily, we, we're going to be making some money off of the barley because we don't need that. We just need the straw produces. Alright, so we made it all the way back over to the farm. Oh man, I'm excited. Be the first, like, actual harvest we're gonna have over at our cow farm. We cut a lot of grass before. That doesn't really count. This is the first thing that we've, like, planted. Sort of, kind of, taken care of. I don't know, I kind of just let it grow. Alright, I'm gonna go get the big ol'... New Holland T9. Unload this big old baler. Man, I love this tractor. This thing is so cool. Alright, got this all unloaded. I'm gonna set this off to the side. Dang, this is like the size of the <laughs> of the big rig and the flatbed. Dang, this thing is huge. Go grab the other tractor. Right up the ramps. Get connected there. Oh yeah, look at this thing. This is awesome. I'm gonna start over here on the left side of the field. Get everything unfolded. Oh man, look at this thing. This is awesome. This is so cool. Alright, lower it. Um, make sure we're making straw. 
There we go. Okay. Turn it on. And daggum, we're harvesting. Okay, so I got one lap around the headland done. I'm about 81% full, and before I even start the next lap, I'm just going to go ahead and empty the bin. I'm going to leave that running. and But uh, instead of leaving the trailer connected to the tractor here, I'm going to run over and grab my pickup truck, connect the trailer to that, because that's going to be way faster going back and forth. Then I think maybe the top speed of this thing is like 30 miles an hour. So, yeah. Get hooked up to this trailer. So, another thing I'm starting to think might be a problem is... Um, kind of how far apart we're making these straw swaths. I guess I didn't realize that's what a straw swath was. It makes it into a windrow for you. So, that's kind of why I got the windrow attached to the baler. Um, and I was thinking, you know, I'll just combine two rows into one. But, if I can't reach two rows, then what's the point of even having the windrower? Hmm. But I don't know. I guess we'll cross that bridge when we get there. So I'm going to unload as much as I can into this trailer here. Oh, geez. It's going to fill it up so fast. Alright, so we got about 8,000 liters there. Go ahead and cover the pump back up. And we're just going to go sell this directly to whoever is paying the highest price for barley right now. And that would be, we're in, oh, of course, we're in June. Worst time to sell barley, obviously. Um, but where do we go? Feed and Grain South. Where's Feed and Grain South? Way over there. Okay, let's go find that. Let's get this sold. We gotta come back and get the rest of the field harvested. We've only done one lap. Oh, hey, cool. I think that's our neighbor right there. I just need to figure out a way to get over there. Oh, hey, actually, I've never been here. I wonder if there's little collectibles lying around. Could make it worth our, while, worth our while even more to show up here. Oh, jeez, I'm not paying attention. I'm looking around for little plastic things. Uh... Can I unload? Cool. Oh, hey! Got about $7,000 just for that. Sweet. Alright, let's put the pipe back in. Lower the header. Turn it back on. It's probably going to be a lot of just that, that back and forth for a little bit, guys. So, I'm going to get this probably most of the way done and then i'll catch up with you yeah see okay do you see how far apart these straw swaths are i don't know if i'm gonna be able to reach them huh oh well but yeah i'll catch up with you guys in just a little bit okay so that was load number four that i just dropped off to this place and i feel like it's time for me to do a little exploring I'm thinking this is the perfect place to hide some 
plastic little pigs or a plastic little cow around here somewhere. Keep your eyes peeled, everybody. If you see one, let me know. Keep your eyes peeled. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I found one. Woo, go team. Woo. Nice. Good job, team. We found one. Alright, so yeah. We gotta finish the part of the field, pick up the straw. And then I'm gonna pretty much spend all of the money that we've made and have left over on more cows. Because we only have 15 sitting in our second cow barn. We need to fill that thing up so we can get as much milk produced as we can. Along with the milk, we also need a lot more slurry. And a lot more manure. Oh man, I can't wait to expand this field. So if you guys didn't know, the plan after I harvest this is to expand this field that I'm on right now all the way over into that next neighboring field. I'm planning on buying that and then making this just one giant straw producing field for us. Go ahead and drop all the straw on the ground right there. I'm trying to have a nice rotation of crop. Oh, I accidentally turned it off. Wrong button. Still learning how to drive this thing. Nope. Go down, not up. There we go. So in um, springtime, right after winter, I'm going to be planting some oat. And what's cool about straw crops is that you can sell the crop itself and then save the straw for the cows. So it looks like we got the field all harvested. I'm just going to go ahead and drive on over to the truck. Dump this final load in. Actually, it's going to be two separate loads because I think my trailer only holds 8,000. we got 9,000 sitting here, so it's going to be two separate loads. This is going to be trip number five with this trailer. And at $7,000 a piece per trailer, that's going to give us 35,000. So we're going to be making close to 40,000 just off of this one field. Not fertilized, and it was full of weeds. So that's actually really, really good, you guys. So now we're sitting at $96,000 in the bank account. I'm going to go ahead and grab this last little bit out of the harvester. Only about 1,000 liters, so we might get eight or $900 off of it, but every little bit counts. Yep, okay, $935 for that last little bit there. Now we're going to go hop into my favorite tractor, New Holland T9. That thing on tracks is is just su such a good looking rig. Okay, so let's go ahead and get this thing unfolded. As I mentioned earlier, I have no idea if it's gonna be able to reach both rows. If not, I mean, it's all good. This thing moves pretty fast. And I don't think I have to stop for the baler, which is awesome. Go ahead and zoom out a little bit. Go ahead and turn it on. Oh, uh, let's see. I think it's just just short enough. Yeah, it's going to leave. Oh, wait, if I get it perfect, I think I can get both rows. <laughs> I think that's going to be a bigger headache than it's worth. So I think I'm just going to go ahead and try to get one row at a time. Luckily, I don't have to stop for this bailer, so this is going to be pretty quick. So I'll go ahead and get one lap. Time lapse for you guys. It's kind of lame. That I can't reach both rows. I just I think I should have gone one more up, and it really wouldn't have been that much more expensive to rent. <laughs> oh well. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> Um, I got my tractor stuck to the baler. Um, how do I unload? There we go. Try to fold it up now. Oh no! <laughs> Let's go. There we go. Let's just go ahead and. Cool. Okay, so. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I'll get back to Bailey now.
All right, so it looks like we're just about finishing up bailing on the straw. That didn't take too long, but it kind of took longer than I thought it was going to. Oh man, look, we're at 97% full on our baler. Good thing I got a few little piles sting around here. There's 99%. Oh, there you go. Come on, I just need... There we go. Alright. Cool. Go ahead and turn it off. What is this? Is I think it's this one. Unload. This one? Yeah, cool. Nice. Alright, so there's three more bales right there. Hopefully this one falls off the back end of it. There we go. Cool. Okay, so I'm just going to leave most of this equipment sitting here. It's a nice hot summer day. It's going to be fine sitting here. And also the straw bales are going to be sitting in the field pretty much until we need them. I think in the next episode we're going to be buying the field that's over on the other side. Field number 16, if you can see it down in the map there. We're going to buy, buy that field and the field that is over to the north. Let me, oh, here, I'll show you down the map. Okay, so we're currently sitting in field 15. We just harvest that one. So my plan is to buy field 16 and then field 17 and merge all three of these into one big field. Which, uh, after the harvest we just got off this one, I mean, I can't imagine. It's going to be crazy. But by that time, we're probably going to have three or four cow barns full of cows that are going to be needing straw for bedding. They're going to be needing uh, hay and silage and all that all kinds of crazy stuff. So my plan is to expand into field 21 with field 14. I'm thinking I'm probably going to have to start moving my cow barns down this way. So I might need to buy field number three and turn that straight into like a plot of land for cow barns. Huh. But, we've got $97,000. Let's go spend at least 60 or 70 on a bunch more cows. Pull this beauty out of the barn. Alright, let's do the good old cow pickup swoop with the trailer. I think it's going to cost us about $15,000 to fill up this trailer. 12, okay, so that's going to cost us... Ooh, $18,000! Alright. Alright, one load full. Get these cows... Oh, jeez! Man, I got a trailer full of cows. I can't just slam on my brakes like that, people. Come on. Alright, let's go ahead and select these guys. Move them on over to the husbandry. There's another 12 right there. Awesome, so now our grand total is 27 with 80 over there. means we have 107 cows. We have over 100 cows. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, so I'm going to go see how many more I can buy. Um, I'm trying not to spend all of my money because... In the next one, I'm, I really do want to try to buy those fields. So, we're probably going to be selling a lot more milk. Maybe cutting grass and buying fields. Go ahead and hop up in the, in the cow wagon. Okay, that should be our last trip over to the li livestock cell point area. Uh, okay, so I ended up buying... 45 more cows. We had 15, add 45, we now have 60 over in our second cow barn. And with 80 in our first means that we have 140 cows total. This is ramping up pretty quickly. These guys are going to be producing a lot of milk, a lot of manure, and a lot of slurry. Which is actually really good because... Um... A few episodes ago, I very quickly learned that we need a whole lot of slurry in order... To... Oh my gosh! Don't tip over with cows. We need a whole lot of sl <laughs> We need a whole lot of slurry if we're going to fertilize our own fields. Now I'm kind of feeling like we're at the point we might be able to do that. Oh, mm. Make sure I go to the right cow barn there. This episode has been a whole lot of fun to make. 
I was super excited to get our first harvest put out, even though it wasn't the best. Didn't yield the best, had weeds, wasn't fertilized. That's okay. It was our first. We can only get better from there. Go ahead and drop these guys off. Open the gate. Move to husbandry. And bam, just like that. 60 cows are running around, mooing, stinking up the place. But I think I'm going to go ahead and close this one out, guys. I really appreciate y'all watching. I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. And I'll see you in the next one. Cool, I just got all the straw bales picked up from our harvest in the last episode. You guys saw that. Cool, if you didn't, oh well. What's going on in this episode is we are going to be making a big push to be purchasing several new fields. However, those fields are not cheap. I don't know which fields I'm going to be buying just yet. I've got my... I've got my eye on three in total if, you know, everything works out to plan just right. Two is the bare minimum that I'm going to be buying today. But if I have enough money left over at the very end of this, I'm going to be buying the third field. So I just need to get this straw picked up. We have a whole lot to do today, guys. I need to get this straw put away. All right. Straw is stored in our bin there. Really quickly, I need to feed the cows, because these guys are running a little low on hay. So I'm going to hop back over into the John Deere really quick after I get this kind of parked up out of the way. Oh, jeez, don't hit my weather station there. So if you guys remember a few episodes back, I made, I think, 112 hay bales out of all this grass that we have lying around on our property. I ended up selling half of those, so I sold 56 of them, and I kept 56 of them. And I've just been feeding my cows off of that 56 that I saved. It's actually lasted me way longer than I thought it was going to. Which is great. But as we start ramp ramping up our milk production, I think we need to start feeding the cows the best food that we possibly can. Which is TMR. And I don't want to drive too far forward. Oh, okay. Okay. And TMR is pretty much just silage and hay mixed together. So I need to start making silage, which is why I have the big giant cornfield out over there. But, oh jeez, what am I doing? I also need a TMR mixer. I found a few online that are like stationary units. I'm going to just push this guy over there. And they're about $22,000, $25,000 each. So... We're really going to need a whole lot of money off of all of these hay bales, which I... We got a whole lot of grass still. And if we're planning on expanding the field that we just harvested into the new field that we buy, we might as well get some money off of the... Like, the gray area, right? We don't want to just waste it. I'm going to finish feeding up each one of these cows here. I don't want to keep... Selling my milk. I want to let that build up for a little bit. So I'm trying to find other ways of making money in the downtime of our corn growing and while we don't have anything going on for the other field just yet. It's kind of weird. I'm excited to for my next planting season because I messed up my first one really bad. It's like just not knowing how much manure and slurry I was going to need. But I feel like we're for sure going to have enough. Look, we got 61,000 liters. Ugh, that's so gross. Of slurry sitting here waiting to be used on our field. You guys are at 81% health. Sweet. Here, just really quick, let's hop in the pickup truck and I'll drive over to the fields that I'm... I got my eye on that I want to show you guys real quick. And with the current crop that's in them, I think they should be ready to harvest next month, which would help us get a lot of our money back. Okay, so first field is field number 17, right here. And this currently has a uh, sorghum, looks like, in it. Yeah. And it's owned by Clifford Powell. So I'm going to need to give Mr. Powell a call, see how much he's wanting for this field right here. And then I noticed that this field over here was sorghum as well. So I was wondering if I could if I could really make a big push and buy both of these fields 
I would have a pretty big harvest come next month that I could, you know, hopefully make a good, pretty good chunk of money off of. As well as being able to expand these into one giant field along with my current field that I own, field number 15 down here. So just imagine, all of this, as far as the light touches pretty much, is going to be <laughs> a big old straw producing field growing oats, wheat, barley. And then eventually, this all right here is going to be one giant field as well because I am going to buy field 21 as soon as I can. I have no much, I don't really know how much it costs. Speaking of that, I'm going to show you guys. Okay, so field 12 right here is $36,000, which uh, is just a little bit more than I have right now. Field 14, which is the other sorghum field that we we're looking at, is $18,000. So I have that, and I have enough to buy that right now. This field, number three, which is the original field that we wanted to go into, is, I think, potatoes. Yeah, potatoes. So, that might be the field that we hold off on, because I know harvesting potatoes is going to be a whole other thing in itself. We're going to need more tools. And, yeah, I just, I don't know if I'm prepared for that. I know I have the tools to get these two fields harvested. So these are the two for sure that I want to get. And then field number 11, which we're looking at right now, is $129,000 by itself. I'm probably going to let this one go for a long time. Not a long time, maybe a few more episodes. Let them get a crop in there, see if that crop is worth harvesting, and then buy that before it's harvested or ready to harvest. But I think we really need to get to work, guys. I've got, I've got just the tool that is going to make this go by really, really fast. So I'm going to load up my uh, medium-sized New Holland, I think it's the T7, up on my, my, up on my flatbed. And I'll meet you guys down at the dealership with the new... It's not really new, it's we're just going to be borrowing it with the tools that we're going to be using to get our hay bales all made. How many bales do you think I'm going to be making? We made 112 last time. But we've got a lot, not a lot less farmland. Hmm. I think we might make 103. I guess 103. Okay, about $9,000 later, I have this sweet Case IH swather with this, um that makes hay out of the grass this thing is really awesome unfortunately i don't think this thing's gonna fit onto my flatbed i'm gonna line it up here and i'm gonna have one of these guys from the dealership kind of follow me over to my farm and he'll catch a ride back over here oh okay looks like he's he's getting the hang of the swather there come on buddy come on come on you gotta follow me Come on, this way. Oh, looks like he's a, it's a little too touchy for him. Come on, buddy. You got it. Oh, okay. Uh, maybe he doesn't got it. Okay, we got everything brought back over to the farm here after our little uh, fiasco of him learning how to drive the swather there. But I was asking him if he needs another job. Because I uh, could really use a helping hand... And it would cut the time down in half that I would be doing this if I had somebody following me in the baler, right? We're going to set him up right here, okay? Got all lined up and nice and going. Then we're going to get in the swather. I think this thing goes about 11 miles an hour with the, the baler running and everything. So I'm going to set my cruise control down to 11 miles an hour, okay? Now, okay, your job is just to follow me in the baler, okay? Now that thing, you're gonna have to stop when it gets full. So I'll try to slow down and, you know, let you keep up and everything so I'm, you're not too far behind me. But here, I'll show you what it's gonna look like, okay? Alright, so you see that line of hay behind me? Your job is to follow me And pick up the hay. Alright? 
You with me? You with me? Okay, so let's see if you can do it. Alright, you following? Come on. You're not following. No, this isn't for you? Okay, well, I understand. At least you came and tried it. I appreciate your time. Well, alright, looks like I gotta do this all by myself, so. Let me get, I'll go ahead and hop in the swather here. Oh well, guy just didn't want to do it. Said it wasn't for him. Made him a little nervous. It's all good. So, my biggest problem doing this is probably gonna be stumps. Oh, and the fact that I'm running over my corn. Yep. See, there's a stump right there. Okay. <laughs> Haven't gotten rid of those things yet, unfortunately. Those are kind of going to be in the way. It's all good. Alright, just like that, we're back to where we started. Oh man, it really put a thorn in my plan that I, uh, that guy didn't want to work for me, but it's all good. I was planning on doing this by myself anyway. Can't ask people to do more than they're willing. Cruising right along though, this really shouldn't take me too long. We'll have this knocked out and own those fields in, like, no time. And just like that, I'm finished. I know there's a lot more grass to be cut, but I've been sitting on this swather for like an hour, and I'm over it. I'm ready to get some bailing done. I'm kind of upset that this this guy said he wanted a job here, but uh, and turned around and flaked on me. <sighs> Let me get this little patch right here, I guess. Hey gum. Okay, there we go. Finally. Get you set right there. Turn you off. <laughs> oh man, this is going to take so long. All good though. I'll cut it into a nice little time lapse for you guys. Um, probably making the first five or ten bales. I don't know. Not really sure. Oh man, I hope I don't run out of fuel also because I'm low half a tank. Oh, I don't know. We'll see where we can go with this. Okay, so there's pretty much one full lap done, and if we look at the bale counter there, we've made nine bales now. Sweet. I have no idea how many I'm going to make since I'm sticking to the 180 centimeter eyes here. Um, at first, I wasn't sure how many... I, at first, I wasn't really sure if I was going to get to um, even close to 100 or not, but you never know. I have a whole lot of, whole lot of hay laying around here <laughs> that needs to be picked up. So once we get all of this bailed, we'll go around um, with the flatbed and the John Deere that has the front loader attachment and the bale spikes. And get all that loaded, and we're going to be selling this today. We're not going to be waiting around trying to get the best price. We need to get rid of this as soon as we can. Uh, I don't think I'm going to be keeping any of it because I still have a whole lot of hay left in my shed there. 
and the purchases we're going to be making are pretty big. So I'm going to need to get all of the money that I can that I can get. I'm just going to continue on with this. Probably catch up with you guys in just a little bit. Okay, so we pretty much got a lot of the bailing done. All that over there is done. Over here this way is done. Pretty much just need to go get uh, in front of the solar panels. And take a quick guess right now how many bales we're at. Because we are sitting at 60 bales currently. At 180 centimeters each. That is quite a lot of hay that we've picked up so far. And I'm hoping it's quite a big chunk of money too. Because in total, I think we're going to be spending like $90,000 if I'm able to get everything that I'm hoping for. Which is those all three fields plus the, um, the feed mixer. Let me just get these last few rows right here. And then we'll just start loading these bales up onto the flatbed and getting them sold to whoever has the highest price. It's probably going to be the animal dealer. But if not, we're selling to whoever's paying the most. Oh man, we're at 99%. Okay, so I think I still have some down over here by the cows in front of them. All right, and there we go. I think that's probably going to be our final bale. So we're at 62 total. I don't think... Oh, jeez. Well, it's not going to help if I don't pick it up. I don't think this sitting here is going to be enough for a bale. Maybe unless I change the bale size. Can I do that real quick? Let's see if it works. I think I might have changed the bale size a little too late, and it's still gonna make a 180 centimeter bale but I mean already at 60 70 percent okay cool so I am gonna have enough for one more bale looks like can I go this way with it here we go all right and so now that I've changed the bale size maybe it'll give me one more off of this tiny amount right here Okay, 92%. Let's see if I get enough. <laughs> 93. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. 99. Okay, cool, 100%. There we go. Just a little tiny 125, me 125 centimeter bail, but getting that out is better than nothing. So let's go ahead and kind of pick all this up right here. We're not going to be able to unload it, but that's okay. Don't want it laying around. We'll just ship it back over to the dealership with the baler. The baling is officially done. Go ahead and go drop this off. Over here. No, let's see. Yeah, it's, it's at the front. It's fine. And then I'm going to leave this right here. Turn the tractor off. I'm just going to hop in the flatbed. And I guess we'll just kind of work our way backwards with all of the bales because the John Deere is way over in that far shed. So, instead of just driving back and forth a bunch of times, I'll just go over to where John Deere is, start from there, and we'll get loaded. I'll probably be able to get maybe 20 bales on each trailer full. So let's go ahead and see how well we can load these things. <laughs> I think right here is probably a good spot, good central location. Get the truck shut off, and then the tractor should be somewhere right in here. Oh, okay, well, <laughs> I guess I drove right by the tractor. <laughs> All good. But yeah, here, I'll just start with... Start with this bale right here. Is it wide enough to get both forks in? Can I do that? Is that a thing? Awesome. There we go. Then what happens if I just like push this one? I 
Can I do that? Perfect. Okay, so we're going to be loading these eyes to the sky, which means the, f the flat part is facing up, looking up to the sky. So that's probably going to be the best way to load them up here. I maybe should have gone with 150 centimeter bales because these are pretty big and I can only get one <laughs> each time I pick it up. So let me get this trailer loaded up. Might take me a little bit and then we'll get going down to the animal dealer. Alright, there we go. One full trailer load. We got 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14. So not quite the 20 I was hoping for, but uh, these are for sure going to be giving us a lot of money. Oops, I forgot to turn the John Deere off. Let's go ahead and turn that off. Let's go ahead and check and see who's going to be giving us the most money. Alright, so Animal Dealer's paying about $160 per thousand liters. So, let's run down to the Animal Dealer real quick and see how much we can get for one load of these big old hay bales here. Hopefully it's a lot. I have a plan on spending a whole lot of money. Alright, make sure we don't tip over here or lose any of our hay bales. That'd be really bad. Don't need any, any of the straps breaking. Let's go ahead and pull in here. See if they'll take them. There we go. Oh, we're getting a good amount of money here, folks. Okay. So that was about... That's probably about $20,000 per load. Huh. Hopefully that's enough. I might be... Mm, I might have... Okay, if I had 63 bales, that'll be three loads, $60,000, plus another three bales. Huh. Okay, we might be... We might have just enough? I don't know. Let's go ahead and get all these other bales loaded up and sold. And let's see how much we end our, end our day with here. Wait, I don't know what I was thinking just now a few seconds ago. I'm not... I was... I don't know why I had it in my brain. I was getting 20 bales per load. I'm only getting 14. Wait, we're going to have like four or five loads at $20,000 a piece. So we are probably going to be making over $100,000. Oh, that's exciting. Sweet. Okay, so this is going to be the fifth and final trip down to the animal dealer. And if you look up in the top right there, we're sitting at $104,000. This would probably put us about 115, 116, somewhere in there. As soon as we get this turned in, we're going to come right back to the farm and start spending all that money. All right, let's go ahead and pull in here. Get this last little bit of it sold. There we go. $115,000. Right on the money there. I'm, pretty, I'm getting pretty good at this guessing stuff. Okay, so now the very next thing on our list, and actually the, the last thing we want to accomplish in this episode, is to, one, go spend all of this money, pretty much. Um, and we're going to be doing that by buying... I think we'll have enough for three new fields. But first things first, we are going to go buy a new feed mixer. So that when the time comes and we have a whole bunch of silage, we are going to be making some really, really high quality TMR for our cows so that they are making some high quality milk for us as well, which we then sell at a higher price because it's high quality. And I'm thinking I want it in a real nice central location, probably like right here in this open area where it's easily accessible for both cow barns. Let's go ahead and hop up into the sky real quick. Food mixer, there we go. We want this guy right here. Um, if we can put it right about there, would probably be our best bet. Yeah, I'm thinking right about here. That way we can just drive up to it with our trailer. Empty it, fill it up, and go feed our cows. I think that's perfect right there. Ta-da! Okay, so that's $22,000 right out of the hole. And now, we'll spend a bunch more money on fields. So I don't necessarily want to buy this field just because it has potatoes in it. And I know that's going to be some kind of crazy undertaking to do. 
need new equipment, all that kind of stuff. But these fields right over here are sorghum. So we already have a combine harvester that can do this for us and we got a trailer so i think it's gonna be wise to go ahead and buy those plots of land real quick okay so num plot number 12 is thirty six thousand dollars go ahead and buy that yes then we're gonna buy number 14 as well which is gonna be eighteen thousand dollars yes okay all right do we have enough for field number three and we have enough by barely four thousand dollars oh my god <sighs> okay, so let's go ahead and buy it. Bam! Alright, sweet. Look at that, guys. So now if we go get our drone out real quick. We now own one, two, three, four, and five. Way over there. Five big giant fields that are going to be producing us money, making food for our cows, and thankfully are actually going to be making us a pretty good chunk of money back in the next episode. So I need to go get this swather and this baler return before I get charged any more money because my bank account is looking pretty low there, guys. But I think with that one, we got everything we wanted to do accomplished. We got our new feed mixer, which is going to be huge, huge improvement to what we're feeding our cows. We got some new fields, which are going to be making us crazy amounts of money. We're expanding the farm. I wish we had some money to go buy some cows, because that's usually what we like to do when we end episodes. But I think spending over a hundred thousand dollars that we just made from hay is a pretty good way to end it so with that guys i really appreciate y'all watching i hope you enjoy the rest of your day and i'll see you in the next one okay everybody should be happy healthy and fed right there let's go ahead and check on you guys right now yep you got two twenty-three thousand liters of food oh you got some milk backing up you got a whole bunch of straw a whole bunch of slurry everything sweet okay well i'm gonna let your milk sit there for a little bit so you guys over here are probably similar as well all right well man for an august day it sure is kind of cloudy we have a whole lot of work to do today, guys. Hope everybody's having a great day. Uh, since we've been at the cow farm last, well, since you guys have been at the cow farm last, I went ahead and got rid of a ton of trees. And if you look up in the top right over there, I have over $100,000 sitting in my bank account that I haven't spent, surprisingly, right? I got all of that from cutting down these trees that were in between each one of these fields. Because we talked about it in the last episode, we are going to be combining all of these fields. I know I'm driving around with a slow John Deere. I don't know why I'm, I don't know why I picked this one. I should be driving around in the pickup truck. We're gonna be combining this field to my left, this potatoes, this uh, field over here that I think was barley or wheat or something before, but we harvested that. That's our field. We purchased these two fields over here, over yonder. So. We need to get this sorghum harvested. Luckily, we have the tool to do that already. Already, We have a combine harvester. And then we're tearing up all of this earth in between them and making one gigantic field. Luckily, our corn isn't ready to be harvested just yet. Uh, I've been talking to somebody, one of the other farmers in town, um, because I'm going to need a forage harvester to make this into silage. But I don't have a forage harvester. So I think I'm going to make a deal with another farmer in town. And we're going to trade harvesters. He's going to use my harvester. I'm going to use his forage harvester. We're going to get that done. But the goal for today is just to get those fields combined. So these sorghum fields really aren't too crazy and aren't going to be too hard to handle. Luckily, I have somebody I can trust. That I'm going to set up on these fields and get them harvested for me. But I also need to run down to the co-op and rent some equipment to harvest the far field over there. We don't have anything that would allow us to harvest potatoes. 
let's go ahead and get the harvester unfolded here. I told the guy to meet me at my field at 8.30. So hopefully he shows up here soon. Alrighty, actually, look at you right on time, man. Five minutes early. Alright, so I'm going to get you set up right here on the sorghum field. And when, when you get close to being full, just go ahead and give me a ring. I'll come unload you, okay? Alrighty. Looking good. Okay, so while he's doing that, I am going to run down over to the co-op slash dealership and rent some equipment to harvest that field full of potatoes. I was thinking, you know, could just plow straight over it. I don't want to waste the money on renting the equipment and um, trying to harvest it. But then I ended up making way more money than I thought I was going to from chopping down the trees. All right, so here's what we need to harvest the potatoes. So let's get these up onto the tractor. Okay, let's go ahead and get this unloaded. I'm not going to get it started just yet. Alright, get that lined up right there. Now I need to go get a harvester unloaded, and I'm just going to sell it straight from the harvester. Oh, he's on the wrong side. Oh, no. Ah, I got to back him up. Alright. All right. Put your pipe back in. Get back to work. All right. Who's buying sorghum? Eden Green South, Jones Farmer Market. Nice! Like, $8,600 just for one tank full? For one trailer full? Okay. Oh my goodness gracious. It's already full again. Hmm. Starting to look like a problem. Brother! You're on the wrong side! Okay, so I'm kind of having the realization that it might be best to just kind of slow down and focus on one thing at a time and stop acting like a squirrel. Because look, right as I'm saying that, the guy's at 80% again. This is going to be my third time unloading this combine harvester. <laughs> so I think I'm just going to focus on making sure that this harvester is moving. Uh, if that means that I'm just going to be driving back and forth for a little bit, that's okay. We're making like $8,600 each time we go unload this trailer. So, I mean, if you were making like somewhere between eight and $9,000 just for driving your truck around, I'm sure you would do it too. So, we're going to let them run a little bit. Come on. No, no, no. Nope, nope, nope. Nope. Stay, stay, stay. Get right there. And then I'm probably going to have him do this field over here. This the brown field next to me. That way. And then... 
I guess we'll try and see how good he is at maybe harvesting potatoes, because I know I'm going to have to do this for the potato field as well, because it's pretty big. Okay, perfect. Got the first field done. Now let's get you set up on this second field. Get this knocked out quick. Get you set up like right there. Alright, so maybe about two trips off of this field. Looks like the harvester should be done here in just a second. Alright, let's go ahead and get it unloaded with sorghum for the final time. And then hold on there, buddy. I'm going to need you to stick around for a little bit. I think I got a whole other job for you that you might just be interested in. Don't go nowhere. I'm going to go sell this sorghum, and I'll be right back. Okay, so this job is pretty similar to what I just had you doing a little bit ago. Pretty much, you gotta cut the foliage off, I'm pretty sure, with this thing, and pick up the potatoes with that thing. Um, so, best of luck to you. Good luck. Um, there you go. You seem to know what you're... Hmm, okay. Maybe because we gotta go down the rows. Let's see if you want to work now. Huh. Yeah, that's quite the interesting process there. I'm sure glad I'm not the one doing it. Alright, well... Oh, jeez. Objectifying me like that. Have fun. It's going to take you a long time. Um, what are you at right now? 6%. Okay. Well, that's going to take way longer than I thought it was going to. Well, I guess in the meantime, we can get to plowing. And to get that job done, I'm using my favorite tractor, the T9. Alright, let's get this baby loaded up onto the flatbed. Way bigger. <laughs> makes, the, makes the semi truck look tiny. And to do all of the plowing that we need done, I went ahead and purchased this 9 meter subsoiler. This thing is going to be tearing up a crazy amount of earth. It was like $19,500. So, we're also going to be plowing up the space in between our current cornfield and the field straight across from that, so we're going to be using this thing quite a lot coming up soon. But I figured we might as well just go ahead and purchase it. Now let's go ahead and get back down to the farm. Because apparently, the worker harvesting is about 80% full. Oh man, this is heavy. Let's go ahead and leave this right here. Start the engine. Okay, there we go. Now I guess it's probably best to see who is buying potatoes at the, the highest price, right? Johnson's Farmer's Market. Good old friend of ours. Cool. Alright, so you're unloaded. Now let's go ahead and get these potatoes sold to the farmer's market real quick. Alrighty, let's see how much we get here. Kind of just like driving between both of them. Um, okay, that one. Cool. Alright, $3,340. Not too bad. We're probably going to be taking quite a few trips here. Let me get back to the farm, see how full the tank is on the on the potato harvester. Because we might just have to focus on this for just a little bit before we can get to plowing. Which might be best, actually. 
I'm gonna go ahead and go this way. Alright, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and let them work for just a little bit. Okay, this tiny trailer is is not working out. Um, I, I think I'm gonna go sell this. Sell this tiny little trailer. And get a way bigger trailer that's gonna hold way more. Oh, oh my gosh, see, look, this thing just bounces around because it's so empty. So tiny. I think I'm gonna try to get something that holds probably double the amount of this. This holds 8,000 liters. I'm gonna shoot for something that holds at least 16... Maybe 18,000 liters. Because I... This is taking way too many trips. Yeehaw! <laughs> Alright, let's go ahead and sell this bad boy. Uh, how much is it worth? 10,000? Repair... Paint it. Is it worth any more? Yes. Eleven. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Now I'm thinking. Look at this bad boy right here. Thing hold. And you can extend it. Okay. Change the extension color. I like green. Is this, is my potato thing gonna be able to reach over that? We'll find out. We're going to go for Michelin's. Uh, total price, $36,000. Oh, dang. Okay, so we bought a new plow. Bought a new trailer. Oh, jeez. This thing's... Okay. Cool. Cool. This should totally reduce the amount of trips I'm going to have to take now. I think this holds like three times the amount. So it should reduce our trips by three. Cool. <laughs> Math. Oh yeah, this will shoot over the top, no problem. Perfect. You know what? With not having to drive back and forth to the farmer's market so often, this might free up some time to go start plowing up some land. Hmm. So yeah, we're at 8,000 liters right there. We'd be full with the other trailer. Okay, so with that going, and with our bigger trailer, I feel like we might have some time to at least go get this tractor set up. So initially, I was thinking of kind of making diagonal lines connecting these these fields. I'd go like kind of corner to corner, shortest route, connecting them. But after flying my drone up in the air and really looking at them, I feel like the best plan of attack is to go with straight lines. So I'm going to go straight up from this field right here. Go all the way up and match this line to this field. Okay. And then these are perfectly lined up together. It's going to be easy peasy. And then to connect these two fields that were previously sorghum. I'm going to start following, start by following this straight line right here. Go over a tiny bit. Do that. We're going to go allow create fields. Cool. And then off. Uh, try to make this as straight as I can. Mm. 
Try to line it up. With this field. Okay. Oh, that's not very straight at all. Oh man. Patty, you need to work on your on your lines. right there. Oh. oh no. Go straight up. Right there. Oh no, don't go to there. Cool. And then going this way. Go ahead and drop it. We'll just go straight over right here. Okay, cool. Now you can see all of this area over here is going to be one piece of the giant field that we're going to make. And I don't know if I like this curve over here, so I think I'm going to take this out. But drop it right here. Kind of go this way. There we go. So now we're going to connect the field that I already owned over to the new field. We just connected the new field, so let's get them connected to the, this one. Go straight up from here. Straight as can be, I think, ish, kind of, yeah, sort of. I'm just going to go all the way up. Perfect. Okay. Now we just go to the other side. Alright, drop her down. Ooh, that's close. Here we'll just go cross. Bam, just like that. Okay. Let's just go ahead and leave this sitting here. Now I gotta go unload the potato harvester one time. So we can't fully complete the outline while he's working on that field, but at least we can get pretty much 90% of it outlined. 
So I'm going to start by connecting the potato field to this field that I'm driving on right now. Hopefully I got all of the stumps cleared out. I think that stump grinder was like $5,000 in itself. You can see all the little patches where I had to grind the stumps out. Oh man, I do not know how to make a straight line. Come on, Patty, this is terrible. Oh, that's so bad. <laughs> and right about there, probably. And then from here, we can connect these lines. Just like that. Cool. I'll get go ahead and get some more plowing done. All the, the potato harvester works on his job as well, and hopefully, you know, we kind of just get this knocked out before the end of today. Yeah, it's probably just gonna be a lot of a lot of grinding right now, so I'll time lapse a little bit of this for you guys and then we'll catch up, you know, later when a lot more of this is done. All right, first full load in the new trailer. Go ahead and see how much we get here. $10,241 for one full trailer load of potatoes. Which actually, I mean, when you think about it, we got about 11,000 back for the trailer we sold. This was like, I can't remember how much, it was like 30 something thousand. We've almost totally recouped our investment for this trailer. That's exciting. In the next episode, um, we are going to be wrapping up our first full year here at the cow farm. And I'm pretty proud of what we've accomplished so far. We've got a big cornfield going that we're going to make a bunch of silage out of. We're going to be having this gigantic field going coming next season. We got a whole bunch of manure and slurry ready to fertilize these fields. So we're not going to have to spend any money on that. We're going to be buying a whole bunch of cows because we got a bunch of money sitting in the bank account right now. Let's go ahead and hop back up in the T9 here. New Holland. Get back to plowing. We got a whole lot of work to do.
Oh my goodness, I'm so close to being done on this potato field. And actually, this this potato field has been quite quite a good investment. I think I can't even remember how much we paid for it, but I think it was like thirty three thousand or something like that. Um, and then we paid like another ten to rent the equipment. And then I've been paying this guy all day to harvest it. And um, after this load, we probably should have come out with maybe close to 45 or yeah probably about $45,000 total just off of this field oh come on we got this last little row let's finish up finish strong finish strong I've gotten a whole lot of the plowing knocked out which I'll show you guys in just a second uh, but I've got pretty much the whole wheat field knocked out I got a good portion of in front of the field over here I got the other, both of the sorghum fields knocked out. Now I just have some little patches that were in between them. We're really close to finishing our goal for today. Obviously, the next goal will be preparing this giant field for sowing season, getting it all fertilized, getting it limed, and then getting it cultivated. And just like that, wait, where are you going? Hold on, up. Almost done, almost done. Wait, where are you going? You're not done? You guys still got some taters left? Oh my goodness, you still have a whole row of taters left. All right, well, I'll let you do that. But we're pretty much done. Ouch, he just ran right into me. Rude. I understand you're grumpy. You've been working all day, but so have I. Come on. Cool. Potato harvesting is done. And we never have to think about that again. Let me go get these sold. And I'll get the uh, equipment that we borrowed turned in. And then we are finishing up by making the field that we just harvested, these potatoes, part of this gigantic field right here that we've made. I mean, look at this. This is pretty, this is pretty hefty. This is going to be some crazy straw production. I can't wait to see how many, how many bales we make off of this. It'd be crazy. And then, once we harvest the corn right over there, we're buying this big old field, field number 21. And we're combining those two fields to make one giant corn silage producing field. We got big dreams around here. Gotta make three million bucks. Okay, and just like that, harvesting comes to a close. $3,705. Richer, we are now sitting at $161,627. So I know I like to spend money, and usually in the episodes I kind of end them by spending all the money that I made, right? But I feel like I'm just going to hold on, I feel like I'm going to hold on to my cash for a little bit. We're going to be making some pretty big moves here, coming up in these next few months. Here, let's just have them. I'll just call them right now and have them uh, pick up their equipment. Okay, cool. Man, I love New Holland trackers. I don't know what it is. Maybe it's just the color or something, but I love New Holland. Get this hard working rig parked up. You know what I need? I need a pressure washer. Do I have one of those? I don't even know if I have one of those around my property. Probably do. I think I do. This does not deserve to be sitting here this dirty. 
Alright, I ran all the way back over the T9 with the giant subsoiler on it. Go ahead and get this finished up, folks. Alright, here we go. Lower it down. I'm just gonna go ahead and set cruise control. Go straight across. Oh, I'm not going straight at all. Oh, jeez. Oh, no. <laughs> Here we go. Kind of straight. Over as far as we can. Hmm. Maybe I didn't think this real way. Nah, we'll fit. Yeah, we're good. I think. Maybe. Hopefully. I don't know. I'm going to stop right there. <laughs> And then we'll start from right over here. Go up this way. Uh, is it going to square off? Oh. <laughs> uh, well... We'll just go all the way up to the road, I guess. <laughs> Hopefully nobody runs over our crop. <laughs> Sweet, okay, so let me get this all plowed up. We are finished. Oh, oh, put it down there, Patty. Alright, now you can hit the gap. Cool. Here we go, this is the last pass. And this is going to be all one gigantic field. I'm starting to kind of feel like maybe my eyes are bigger than my stomach on this. But... This is nothing we can't handle. And there we go. Ta-da! One gigantic field that is going to be making a whole bunch of straw for us here in the future. Get these little pieces right here. But just kind of driving by, you can kind of see the scale of how big this is. <laughs> this is awesome. Oh man, this took so long to do, it was like four hours in real life. <laughs> I'm so excited though, I've been planning to do this for a long time. And we own this. Subsoiler, are you going to fit inside my shop? Oh! Okay, you do? Cool. Um, I guess we'll just figure out how to get you out some other day. <laughs> Drop you right out there. And we'll put the tractor right about there. Oh. Oh man, today's been so, a whole lot of work. We did a bunch of harvesting. We harvested potatoes, not to mention the, the hours of plowing <laughs> were put in to make this here investment into our future. So 
So here, really quickly, let's get our drone out. Kind of give you guys a good look. And the scale of this field. This is crazy. Check it out. Oh my gosh, this is going to be great. I tried to make my lines as straight as I could, but, you know, I... <laughs> I'm trying, I'm trying. There we go. Bam! Look at that! Oh, this is exciting, guys. I can't wait to get planting into this. I have no idea if we're going to have enough organic material, as I like to call it, to fertilize this field. But I guess I should start cleaning up the farm. Because next month, we're harvesting corn. And I got to trade in my harvester that I got. Well, not really trade it in. I'm just trading it with another farm. To use their harvester that they have. Thankfully. Let's get everything all packed up here and get the flatbed par- Oh, jeez. Gonna get the flatbed parked up in the garage. Right about there. Alright, put you down. And I'll go ahead and... Park my pickup here in the garage as well. Man, today's been a lot of fun, you guys. I really appreciate y'all watching. If you have any comments on how I could, you know, get the best, get the most out of my field as I can, let me know down in the comments. I, my plan, pretty much, <clears throat> my plan with it is to fully fertilize it, so we'll get some slurry on it, and we'll get all the manure put onto it. So in the next episode, we're gonna be buying some trailers and some. Equipment to do that. So we've got 76,000 liters of slurry just in this one cow pen. Oh my goodness gracious. On top of that, we got 96,000 liters of manure. Oh my god. And on top of tons and tons of milk. Wow. Man, things are starting to just roll right into place. Oh, okay. But yeah, with that, guys, I think I'm just going to let you enjoy the rest of your day. I really appreciate y'all watching, as I said before. And, uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Okay. Man, good morning, everybody. Take a sip of my coffee here. Get looking at the day because, um, it's looking a little ugly out there. Yeah, gum. So it's raining, which is kind of bad news for us today, because uh, today is the day we're supposed to be harvesting our cornfield and making all this chaff and turning that chaff into silage, which will then be turned into TMR and, you know, all that good stuff for our cows. So, um, our, our first problem is that it's raining. Okay, so we have to wait for it to stop raining. And the weather over here says it should stop around 1 p.m. Okay, so not too far off. And we actually have a few things we can do around here first. My plan to harvest my plan to harvest the corn and turn it into chaff is to kind of like do a quick little trade with our harvester here or case with our uh, grain header. I made a deal with a fellow farmer and neighbor and friend who lives just like in the northwest northeast corner I think he lives like up in the northwest corner oh jeez I hit the wall with my header there of old split mountain ranch so I'm gonna drive our harvester up there drop it off for him and then drive their forage harvester back over here so that we can get started. How you doing cows? You guys are looking good. Oh my god, that's a lot of manure. 
So also something I realized before I started recording um, is that planting season for like wheat and barley is uh, like right now or right month or right now or like next month pretty much. And I'm not prepared for that at all. My ultimate plan is to fertilize the giant field that we just made in the last episode fully with all the organic material that we have from our cows. So that's our slurry and our manure, which means that I'm going to need um, trailers to spread those materials, right? I'm going to need a slurry spreader and a manure spreader. I'm hoping this time around we have enough flurry to actually cover our entire field. Um, I'm not feeling too hopeful about it because, you know, our field is gigantic now. And last time, we only really were able to cover maybe, like, 10% of the field, I think. It, was, it wasn't very good. But this time we have, like, well over 100,000 liters of slurry. I just, uh... I just don't know if it's going to be enough for the field that we have. Nah, it looks like I'm holding up traffic, but oh well. Oh man, you don't realize how slow going 20 miles an hour is until you can only go 20 miles an hour. But we're here now. Finally made it. Oh, this is a little narrow here. Alright, cool. Alrighty. So he said that the forage harvester is sitting over here in this back shed. And then I could just pull my harvester through, park it in here. Oh! Jeez, hey, yeah. Look at that thing. Oh, hey, sweet, and you got some silage additive for me? Thank you, appreciate it. Alrighty, well, I'll go ahead and uh, get this warmed up. There we go. We get some silage additive right there. Are we too far away? <laughs> there we go. Okay. This will make sure that we have a nice full yield of our chaff. God, this thunder is so loud. Awesome. Thank you very much. Let me get this pulled out and get my harvester par parked in here. Go in my strays we can. Alrighty. There we go. She's all yours. Be good to her. Alright, sweet. Let's get this back home. Fortunately, we still have a few hours until the rain stops, but yeah, it's all good. Got some, got some coffee we can enjoy. And who doesn't like watching a good thunderstorm? You know what I mean? Oh, jeez. Okay, back to the farm now. Still raining, of course. Didn't expect it to be any lighter. Gonna go ahead and park this guy like, right about here. Put him down. And the way uh, forage harvesters work is... Uh, you guys see this giant shoot thing right here? Um, we're going to need to attach our trailer. Oh, jeez, that's a wall. We're going to need to attach our trailer there, and then it's going to shoot directly into the trailer. These these harvesters don't really uh, have a capacity to hold uh, whatever they're harvesting. So luckily, we bought that big trailer. holds like 20-something thousand liters, I think. Okay, so now... Um, Main problem number two, uh, we need somewhere to store all of our chaff and turn it into silage after we harvest it. And I'm thinking I'm going to get a fermenting silo, which will turn all of our chaff into silage, just like a bunker silo would, like base game. Go to silos, go over to fermenting silos, da, 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 da. Okay, so we got one that's sixty thousand dollars right here. Kind of see what it looks like, and I'm thinking we're gonna put it right here next to where we keep all of the hay and the the straw and everything like that. Want to keep everything local, like 
pretty close to each other, and I don't want to put anything in the way. I don't want to put it, like, over here. I feel like that's a little too far, maybe. And I feel like over here is kind of like, yeah, you know, storage area. So, I, I was thinking over here earlier, but I don't want to block the solar panels. You see what I mean? So I don't want to give the, sh give the solar panels any shade. So, I'm thinking the best possible place is right here. But, I think I'm going to go with the bigger $100,000 one. I have no idea how much it holds. I'm just guessing it's going to be enough. So, okay, yeah. If you see if it, down at the bottom right here, this medium fermenting silo, and it turns like grass, chaff, hay into silage. Which is exactly what we need to make TMR. Alright, I'm just going to go ahead and get the bullet. Alright, cool. Jeez, that thing is gigantic. Man, are you happy to see me, or is that a silo in your pocket? Sheesh. Okay, so this is where we dump all the chaff into. This is where we pick it up once it's done fermenting. And this is where we turn it on. Okay. Yeah, so we got chaff silage, hay silage, grass silage. And then this is my food mixer that I have just on the other side of the, the red silo thing. Okay, cool. 60,000 liters a month. I don't know if that's enough. Hmm. We'll find out. Okay, so that's put in there. I'm going to go ahead and just get the trailer attached to the forage harvester now. Hey, cows, how you doing? Howdy. You guys got some good food there. Um, I accidentally didn't feed you guys before I switched over to this month, so that's why your health is really low. I apologize for that. That's my fault. Got a bunch of slurry. So these guys got 88,000 liters of slurry down there. Okay. That's a lot. I think last time we tried to do this was like 18,000 liters, I think. And then, <clears throat> excuse me, and then these guys have almost 40,000 liters. Oh my god. Okay, yeah, that's a lot of flurry. I think we should have enough. But I don't want to count my chickens before they hatch or, you know, count my slurry before it's fertilized. I don't know. The old truck on. Honestly, the truck could use a bath. I should put stick it out in the rain. There we go. Okay, there we go. Let me pull my pipe out. There we go. Now you guys can kind of see an idea of what, how this is going to work. So the, the big yellow teeth there in the front, chop it up down into chaff, corn cob and everything. Stock, leaves, corn cob. Everything gets chopped up and spit out into that trailer back there. And then the trailer will get dumped into the silo, which will then ferment and turn into silage. All right. It doesn't really hurt to get go ahead and get everything ready while we wait. Go ahead and set you right there. Alright. Shut you down. And let's just go hang out on the porch. Watch the thunderstorm. Drink some coffee, huh?
sweet. <laughs> cool. All right. Good. Hang out, enjoy some coffee, enjoy the thunderstorm. That was awesome. But now it's time to get to work. All right, let's go ahead and get the harvester turned on there. Lower the header. Turn it on. Is there any other controls we need to do? Fall in the sheet, keep slide back, blah, 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 blah. Pipe in. Nope. Nope. Oh, Jeez. I think we're good. Oh man, I'm gonna need a bigger trailer. <laughs> oh, this looks cool. This is going to make some happy cows. Oh no, I'm going to need a... I'm going to need a bigger trailer. I'm already at 90% and I haven't even done one row. <laughs> That's 100% right there. Oh my god. Alright. Well. Oh jeez, it's spraying all over the daggum place. <laughs> well, I can't just do... I can't... That's gonna take way too long. I can't. I have to go get a bigger trailer. Okay. <laughs> Let me at least get this dumped off. I mean, I'm, I'm sure the silage additive and everything really isn't helping. <laughs> oh. Well, it is helping. That's the problem. <laughs> Alrighty, let's go ahead and get this dropped off right here. And then walk over here and activate it. All right. There we go. That's dropped off. Uh, but yeah, before we continue, I'm going to go sell this trailer really quick and get us a bigger one because this field is just way too big to be doing it like that. Well, live and learn. Alright, let's see how much we'll get for this. I got it. We'll get 29,000 for it. Alright, sweet. Pretty sure we got that one. That holds to 24,000 liters. Okay, so this holds to 33,000. 34, 37, 37, 40, and now we're getting somewhere with 40. That holds 45. That's really expensive, though. Might need it. That holds 47. Hmm. These guys are way too high out of our price range, I think. That one just holds way more. That one just holds way more crops. Okay, this one holds pellets, chaff, fat, straw. It's everything we need. Yeah, I mean, this is what we need right here. Can we change the main color? Hmm. 
don't know if I like that. Let's go to orange. Uh, can we go Michelin? Yeah, Michelin. Nice. Okay. Uh, yeah. Let's buy this one. Why not? Sixty-nine thousand. Alrighty. Oh, you okay? <laughs> um. All right, little truck, you got this, buddy. Oh heck yeah! Look at that, easy. Okay, special delivery. Get you going the right way there. All right, thanks, pickup truck. You did great. Okay, now let's get back to work. Hopefully, now we have enough room in our trailer to do, like, two rows? Yeah? Baby steps, baby steps. And away we go. Heck yeah. Okay, so one row down, and I'm at 53, 50, oh, 55 percent. What was I thinking? Okay, so, um, hmm. This is going to be interesting, for sure. Go ahead and lower this back down. There we go. Alright, and 100% full right there. Go ahead and turn it off, hold it up. Oh, that's... nope, that's not where I want that to go. Okay, let's <laughs> just put our pipe back in there, fellas. Okay. Okay, cool. This can hold a whole lot of chaff. Sweet. All right, so I got both of the ends kind of chopped up there. This is going to take quite a while, guys. So I think I might do some drone for it. Might do some drone footage for you guys. Uh, I don't know how much of a time lapse I'll do because kind of get stuck having to go back and forth. So, oh, okay.
Oh man, this is taking forever being a one-man show like this. Uh, I'm probably just about halfway done here. Maybe a little bit more than halfway. And uh, when we get over to the silo, I'll show you guys we have almost a half a million liters of chaff already. So, I'm hoping we don't have to buy a whole other silo. But this is looking like... Um, this is looking like it's going to be a lot of silage. Just getting this much done has probably taken me close to an hour, as you can see up at the top right. I'm, I have the time set to half time, so one hour equals two hours. And it's almost been an hour in game. Oh wait, that means it's been two hours. Hmm. I've been here a long time. I've been sitting here a long time. <laughs> Harvesting. <laughs> Harvesting a lot of chaff. But we're so close to being done. I just, uh, just, yeah, really hope I don't have to buy a whole other silo. Okay, so there we go. Yeah, right now we're set. Oh, geez, and it's climbing up pretty fast. We're sitting at over a half a million liters of chaff right now. And we've already got 1,300 liters of silage. Um... We are going to need a whole nother silo. Dang it. Oh, man. Okay. All right. Maybe not. Let me get, like... I could probably get, like, two more trailer fulls in there. And then uh, let's see where we're at for that. Okay, so here is the second trailer full that we were just talking about. And it's 1.59, so I'm thinking at 2 p.m. up there in the top right, um, hopefully a bunch of material switches over into silage. I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> That's what I'm hoping, though. So I'm going to wait until it says 2 p.m. to unload this. Okay, cool. There we go. You can see we made a little bit of money there as well, so I'm hoping... Nope. <laughs> okay, so... um, We're for sure going to need a whole other silo, because I still got uh, maybe one, two or three more trailer fulls sitting over there. Uh, let's see if it unloads all of it, I guess. Nope. Stopped right there. Okay, and we're full. So this, now we know... It holds 660,000 liters of chaff. Um, the unfortunate thing is, I don't know if we have enough money to buy a whole other silo. Yeah, no, these are $60,000. Okay. Uh... <laughs> the cheapest small bunker is $25,000. Hmm. This one we're going to have to wait for, though. Okay, so I have an idea. <laughs> and it requires selling some milk. Because we got, what is that, 25,000 liters of milk right there. Jeez, okay. Perfect. So I'm thinking, where's my pickup truck at? So I'm thinking we go sell two tankfuls of milk real quick. And then <laughs> come back and buy another silo. Hold the old F1 R, start filling. I had to do that. Okay, full. As always, we gotta see who's buying the, buying it at the highest price. The bakery. Ah, all right. Let's go down to the bakery. Never been there. Hmm. I feel like the bakery's probably over here somewhere. Maybe? I don't see it. Alrighty, here we go. Got some fresh milk for you. I 
That's all you wanted? Oh, you're full too? Oh my goodness. <laughs> okay, well I still have like a thousand liters. Who's gonna buy my milk? You guys? I guess I'll just split it. Yeah? You want some milk? There you go. <laughs> okay, so I still need about another 15-ish thousand dollars. So let me get one more tank full sold here, and then we will just buy another silo. I don't want to wait for the bunker silo to ferment. These fermenting silos are actually pretty cool because they'll just ferment right there. I don't really have to wait for them. Thank you, cows. You guys are awesome. You guys have really been a huge help to funding, you know, this this cow farm that we're trying to do here. Okay, so this load, I'm just going to end up selling to the Johnson's Farmer's Market just because I know that they'll end up taking it all. Um, I think it's this one. Yeah, cool. Okay, awesome. Got $18,422 there, and we're sitting at $65,727, which means we have the funds we need to buy the new fermenting silo, thankfully. And after that, we'll have about $5,000 sitting there left in the bank account, which is uh, way less than I thought we were going to have, because, you know, I like... I just like buying cows at the end of the, these episodes, and I feel like we haven't bought cows in a while. Probably like, like two episodes or something. I need to fill in that far cow barn that's way over there. Go ahead and leave you right there. We'll just cut the truck off. Hop up into the construction mode. Silo. And we want the American flag. Yeah. And we're going to put you, like, over here. Yeah. Cool. Awesome. All right. And start unloading some chaff. But we got to turn this one on, too. Before we forget, go ahead and chaff silage. Activate. Bam. Awesome. Alright, now we should have no problems finishing our field. Cost us $160,000 in silos. You know? Hey! Jesus, these trees are in the way everywhere. I thought I got rid of you trees. Nah, I got rid of all those trees over there. That was like... <laughs> that was like three hours in itself. Off recording. And away we go. Oh, it's taken so long to get this harvested. I um, think I might have underestimated doing this as a one-man job, for sure. <laughs> I know for a fact I am going to have a team of workers harvesting the giant field that we just made over there. There's no way I'm going to do it by myself. Oh, uh, get up to the header. There we go. Back it up. Turn it back on. You should be the... Final two, final two strips right here. And then I'll drive around and pick up all these patches that I missed as well. Alright, here we go, final stripe. Oh, this feels so good. About a two hour harvest solo. Not too bad. Saved a little bit of money doing it by myself. Oh man, who's that handsome guy sitting up in the tractor? And the field is finished. Ta-da! Well, for the most part, you know what I mean? I still have all these patches and stuff that I gotta pick up. Check it out! Whole field harvested. Good job, team. I don't know how I missed this big patch. 
think I was not paying attention on cruise control or something. And we're done. Sweet. All right, cool. Turn that off. Get it folded up. Let's get this unloaded into our silo. And then, man, we're done harvesting corn. Oh, I left this little bit right here. Nah, that could stay. Whatever, it's fine. I'm not going to unfold it just for two little stalks of corn. Alrighty, well, uh, let's get this parked up in our, in our shed here. Man, that's awesome. I'm so excited for the future of our cow farm here. We have well over, like, 700,000 liters of, of chaff, which is going to turn into silage. Which all we then, all we really need then is some, some hay. And we'll have a crazy amount of food for our cows. So if we look right now, we have 180,000 liters in the small silo. And we have 660,000 liters in the bigger silo. That's that's pretty crazy. Okay. It's be a whole lot of silage. Now we can kind of just hop up in the pickup truck here. And drive around and talk about what we're going to do in the next episode, I guess. So this episode is actually a, a pretty big deal because this closes out our first full year here trying to restart the cow farm. Uh, you guys remember the first episode we showed up in our, our like bright blue Mustang, not really knowing it, not no, not really knowing what to do. So we're a long way away from our goal of reaching three million dollars in three years. As uh, as I just said, this is the end of year one. We only have like five thousand dollars, but year one was pretty much just about getting our foundation set, uh, buying a bunch of cows. We have a hundred and forty cows sitting there making a bunch of milk for us. And, you know, just on a whim, we're able to make, like, $30,000. So, in the next episode, <laughs> it's going to be a whole lot of field work because we're going to need to get this field prepped and planted. We're also going to need to get the cornfield that we just harvested expanded. So, the same thing I just did to this field right here, I'm going to go do to the cornfield again. Um, but first, I'm going to have to, like, remove all the stumps and stuff like that. I didn't do that to this field. If you kind of go around the edge or over here. I still need to remove all of these trees in between this space right here. And there's a few stumps. Yeah, like this one. Oh, geez. Yeah, like that. <laughs> so we're going to need to get those taken out as well before we expand this one. I've already expanded it once, but... I know we're going to need a lot of silage for the cows that we're going to be growing. Oh, I'm so excited. This is this is going really well. I think year two is going to be a whole lot of fun. I think it's going to be a whole lot of buying cows. Maybe doing some, some work for our friends around town that let us borrow some equipment. Go ahead and check on the cows real quick. See how if you guys are hungry or not. Nah, you guys are cool. Oh. <laughs> I think with that, guys, I just I think I'm just gonna close it out here. I really appreciate y'all watching. Uh, if you have any questions or comments or anything you want to see me do, any suggestions, let me know down in the comments. But uh, yeah, I think I'm just gonna let you guys enjoy the rest of your day, and. Uh, I'll see you in the next one.